Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. If you've joined us at other times of day, we welcome you on those as well. Thank you for joining us here from the Batcave. I'm your host, Red Thunder Adam Gerard, and this is the calmest and nicest I will be for the entire show, as I'm pretty fired up this week. But we'll get into that later. Joining me this week are the Probe Mad Richens. Yo yo! The Dad Knight, Braden Ahern. And Hello. his Wonder Dog, Nigma. He's shaking. And not joining us this week, the Honey Badger Terry O'Neill. But instead, after 44 or 45 somewhat episodes, she's back with us, the President Adriana Orman. And don't worry, if you give us your feedback and you say, no, no, she's no good, we'll keep her off for another 40, I promise. Let's move on to The Flash, shall we? Okay. So, so it's going to be episode 5, The Darkness and the Light. Thank you. That's all right. Religious. I know, I'm prepared with my board of skills. <laughs> Alright, the team meets the Earth 2 Harrison Wells who is responsible for the creation of the metahumans and Zoom of his Earth. Despite his attitude, Wells plans to help Barry's team stop Zoom and his metahumans. At the same time, a thief from Earth 2 named Dr. Light arrives and starts robbing banks. Jay tells Barry that she can be reasoned with and it works until Barry recognises her as Earth 2's version of Linda Parker. Later... Linda Parks, bro. Oh, sorry, Linda Parks, sorry. My bad. Um, later that night, attempts to kill Linda and take over her life, but accidentally kills Linda's boss and is foiled by Barry's team in the process. Wells reveals Cisco's metahuman powers to the team, which Cisco uses to locate Dr. Light... Barry defeats her using a speed mirage technique that, that was suggested by Wells, a.k.a. Reverse Flash. Yeah, um, zoom you, mate. Oh, sorry, zoom, yep. Yeah. After, uh, well, after locking Light up, they plan to use her to lure Zoom and defeat her, him for good. Jay, who does, who does not trust Wells, thinks it's too dangerous and leaves the team. Back on Earth 2, it is revealed that Zoom has Wells' daughter captive. I'm missing out. I need some. Need some <laughs> stroke. Yeah, I've got I've got my girly dog, my hey, puppy, no, it's all right, it's all right. and I've got my uh, my Harvey Bullock dog. <laughs> <laughs> I've got knuckles. See, some of my gags are landed tonight. Some of them. Um, let's. All right. <sighs> Can I be honest? Yeah. Really weak episode of The Flash. Yeah. Like, except Linda, the, uh, Linda this, Parks was fucking annoying. Yeah. Well, she got more annoying next week, but... Well, yeah. the, the, I said the next episode, I should say, but... The... This episode suffered from it from the last season thing of nothing mattered except for the last 30 seconds with Zoom in the cells. None of it mattered. Nothing. And once again, Wells is the bad guy because when Reverse Flash got mentioned, he whipped off the glasses. He's doing all... Yeah, so here we go. So the camera is going across, panning across. So uh, Matt is Wells, right? Camera's panning across, and Barry's like, "Well, it's like when I fought Reverse Flash," and it stays on Wells like that for like four seconds, and then moves off. So you're very much meant to see it. It's Harrison Wells. Zoom, zoom is not Wells. We'll see. If not, I'm still betting that Harrison Wells is the Reverse Flash, Eobard Thorn, and a bad guy. I'm yeah. still banking on that. I'm telling you. He knows too much. That wasn't the bet. The bet was that Wells is Zoom. He told, to, he told him how to do that speed mirage thing with um, Dr. Light this week. And the only person that has done that other than that episode was Wells. Yeah, Wells and Jay are the only two people who have known how things work in the Speed Force because of the fact they're, they're both speedsters. speedsters. You can't yeah, yeah but Wells speedsters. isn't Zoom is what I'm saying. I mean, he might, might be reverse flashing... Earth 2 as well, but he's not Zoom. Okay, so who's your bet on who Zoom is at the moment? What's your bet? <sighs> I don't know. I'm Hit me with your best shot. I haven't got an Far airtight away. here here or anything like that. Maybe. I, it's definitely someone we know. Has to be. Okay, so... Let, let, let's... Thinking either Barry or his dad. So either Barry or Henry. Yeah. You're closer with Henry. Henry's probably... Henry's my second bet behind Wells. 
But no, I, I, I do not think it's well. about that is why the hell does Henry want to kill Barry? Yeah, I don't know. The other question is, where is Barry in Earth 2 as well? I don't, don't know what he is, if, if it is Henry. I think Barry's Henry dead. Still be... I don't think, they, I don't think Barry dead. Allen is alive on Earth 2. Or he's in jail. No, I reckon the jail thing is going to come... I'll get into that in the next episode. But the jail thing comes after he performs a certain paradox manoeuvre and uh, gets blamed for the death of his mother. Ah. So, realistically, we're, we're watching season one again just told slightly differently mm -hmm. yeah yeah hence why I'm a little bit bored with it yeah yeah I can I can definitely see that um I uh I don't know I, I really don't much to say about this episode I think more happened in the next one so I'm going to save my thoughts for that and just kind of combine them together but do you guys have anything you'd like to say about this one no not really not particularly yeah this was sort of these two episodes are really a sort of two-parter thing, and this was the first part where not much happened. Yeah. This was the Dark Knight Rises part one. Ah, uh, Dark Knight Returns part one. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. All right. Well, I uh, know Adriana didn't watch this one. because no, I didn't get time watched. to. So let's... That's fine. You got through, like, eight episodes of TV or something. It's almost like me day. trying to catch up on yeah. Arrow the first time you guys got me in. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was it's, pretty... Yeah. It's painful. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it feels. I'm just like. So let's <laughs> let's then let's just get into the awards for this episode, I and mean, we can jump from there. Anybody get any Barbaras for this one? Linda Park. She was just annoying. I don't, know, I don't like her character anymore. Just. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty dense. As we'll get into yeah. in the next episode, I have a major gripe with her. Yeah. You might even say my chest started hurting, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, I don't know. Like, I I got so bored with this, I don't know who to give my barber to. I can't even give out Halle Berry's. Yeah, nothing happened in this episode. Yeah. No, I'm giving my Cranston to Harrison Wells, because they're just wasting him now. They wasted him in this episode. Get a great actor like Tom Cavanagh and just make him do now. Make him take his glasses off once. For shame, I say. For yeah, and like he's got his back to the camera most of the time as well. He's like working on a computer or some sort of gadget. Yeah, and he uh, takes I'll his glasses off. I got something to say about the next episode with his back to the the camera because they made sure to show his face at one certain point. We'll get there. Uh, you didn't watch it, so it doesn't matter. Um. um yeah. Sounds like I'm not missing out much. Not this week. Ah. If you don't have one, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I even have a Cranston. Yeah, I don't have a Cranston. I think it's just literally drawn me a blank on this episode. My Cranston, this, Jay was in this episode, though, wasn't he? It was just the one where Jay. Jay walks out. Yeah, Jay walked out. I know Jay is the man that runs away, and that ultimately that's going to be his hero's redemption is he'll come back to fight Zoom. But I also like the fact that he's the one consistently being like, stop trying to get yourself killed, Barry. Like, I'm not going to stand here and be part of you fucking suiciding. You're not ready. Listen yeah. to me. I've fought right. the guy. I have fought the guy. You're great. Okay. You're better than okay. me, but you are not ready yet. You've, you've given me my barber then. Okay. My barber goes to Barry. Oh, okay. Because he's like... I'm faster than you are. Well, that's all that matters. So, if he's like, no, I'm, I'm going against, I'm going against, I'm not listening to anything that this guy has had more experience with Zoom. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go and get him and wing it. As, and so, therefore, I will late jump onto Jay Garrett getting my Cranston. Nice. Alright, well then, let's just give it a quick loving and move on. Uh, I'm just going to give it two. Two. I'm on two. Yeah. 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 A bit of bit of a uh, prostate checking too. As the team works to find a way to stop Zoom, Doctor Light escapes from her containment cell after Barry was hoping that she would help him stop Zoom. Instead, her Earth One counterpart Linda Park agrees to help the team by impersonating Doctor Light, and Doctor Wells creates a speed dampening serum, and the team. Stages a fight at one of the breaches in order to trick Zoom through. 
The attempt <laughs> fails as Zoom knew what they were attempting instead. He goes after Linda before fighting Barry. Zoom is much faster and easier to, and is much faster and easily beats Barry, showing his defeated unconscious body to the local news, police station, and before ultimately returning to uh, Star Labs. Zoom stabs Barry with his hand, but Cisco shoots him with a serum, which hurts Zoom, but still leaves him with enough speed to escape. Later, Wells reveals that Zoom has his daughter and Jesse uh, has his daughter Jesse, and he came to Earth One to stop Zoom. Barry wakes from his injuries and discovers that he can no longer feel his legs. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> Why does Harry many? Wells? daughter not have the surname Wells and not have the surname of what her mother should be. It's almost like she's adopted. It's almost like Harrison Wells adopted somebody who already had the speed force in their body and as such is in fact a speedster himself. Yeah. That's possible. And it's almost like Still he doesn't have his speed right. powers anymore because Zoom stripped everybody of their speed powers. Now, while I'm speaking to Harrison Wells, this is what I alluded to earlier in the episode. In this week's episode, Cisco finally vibes on Wells by touching him in the chest. But before he vibes him, I he, he tries several times to vibe off of him. I thought he touched him on the hand as he picked up the bottle. Sorry, that's right. Yeah, The chest thing was last week. Anyway, yeah. don't. He's tried to touch him multiple times to get it to happen, and Wells is all like, don't touch me, that's creepy. Yeah. Right? Here is my problem slash question with that. Yeah? Why does Wells smile after all that? He tells Cisco, or Ramon as he calls him now, he tells Ramon to leave him alone and whatever, and then turns around, and the camera spins so that we're facing Wells, and we see, Cis we see Ramon walking out, and Wells smiles. Bigly. Like... Like a look of satisfaction of like, yep. I tricked you, can't. Got the cock. Sorry. Trick. I tricked you, clunge biscuit. I'm trying. So I know. I'm you. trying. I know it's hard. I'll You're it. a trainee. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It's weird. It's just mm. a bit of slow moving. Glasses coming off and. Mm-hmm. I'm Wells, but not Wells. I did love though. While while we're going, we'll move away from Wells. Let's talk some <laughs> stuff. I loved. Uh, the relationship between Joe and Cisco at the training course where there's like the cutouts <laughs> and Joe's like where'd you get this? This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it so much. That was so funny. But yeah, Linda sucks. I uh, know, while we're on this, here's a question. Here's a question for you. Okay. There are, there are four of us in this room right now. Right? Wait, wait, there's a fifth one missing. Now, hypothetically, an outsider comes in to this group right now. And standing in the group are Matt looking like he's looking right now. Brayden looking like he's looking right now. Adriana looking like she's looking right now. Me looking like I'm looking right now. And like a tubby bloke with a beard who kind of reminds you of Kevin Owens wearing a red costume. Are you going to just be like, well, that can't be Terry? <laughs> no. You know what I mean? But then when Barry takes the mask off, Linda's like... <laughs> I kiss the flash. So what the fuck? Well, that's yeah. just like with anything, like Superman. And no, Superman. <laughs> Superman <laughs> isn't. And Superman isn't hanging out. Nick, like you know, his Superman and his Jimmy and his Perry and his like. He's not hanging with photos. Like, Come and hang out with us, my buddies. Is he? That's why people are like, wait, Clark. Ke as we'll get to in a minute, Clark Kent is Superman. What? And it blanks people's minds because that doesn't. Logically makes sense, but it, it's the same way that how can motherfuckers not work out? Who's the arrow? He hangs out with Felicity, Diggle, Captain Lance, Sarah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, oh, you don't there. have the. We'll get there. But you know what I mean? It's like how dumb are you people? How dumb are you? <laughs> They're pretty dumb. <laughs> They're fucking dumb. So yeah, that was the. One. I'm like, you're an investigative journalist, and you haven't joined the Dodge Retardo. Like, come on, Linda. You can't drink coffee, and you you're, can't join you're, the Dots. You know what else? Is Barry also used to shake his head really fast when he was around people that blurred his face? Now he just blurs his voice. Yeah, which is not very well because he still talks with the same cadence. Yep. Like you can help me, Linda. Hey. <laughs> it's a bit like Sponge Flash. I know. I want to hear Sponge there Flash. Was, there was I want to hear Sponge Flash. 
You can eat sponge. Can you give me, give me some sponge flash? <laughs> like, I've got to stop Wells, I eh? Like, he's just... He, 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 he killed my mum, and I have to stop him no matter what I do, eh? Like, he, he's just got to be stopped. Hang on, I'll just... Hang on, mate, I'll just... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just before before we go, can I borrow your bong? Hey, I just want to take a hit. <laughs> yeah, that says Barry. But Here's there, a flash. But there was a moment where uh, Barry was talking to Linda. Uh, no, it wasn't Linda. It was uh, Peggy. Okay. And all I heard was a stoner. Like I could not hear anything else other than a stoner. It was just like, oh, oh I really like you. Maybe he's just trying to slow himself down. I, I just, I just got to go do some science. What was that? I love his excuse. Oh, I can't go out with you because I've got to go do some science I've stuff. Got to, I've got, got to science the stuff, stuff out stuff. of science. I've got, to, I've got to science some stuff, the science, the stuff out of some stuff. Yeah. I believe it was. Yeah. I've got to do science with some stuff and science the stuff out of some stuff. Yeah. The one that I found really weird, though, is when did... Neither of those people have struck me at any point as the kind of like, well, this is the middle of our workplace. Should we just dry hump up against a pillar? Yeah. Yeah, Barry at the end is all like, well, I know that, like, literally we could be right. out of our house in 30 seconds. We're probably even I just, a car back in 30 I, I, seconds. I just but... realised that I love you, eh? I just want to give you a kiss. Let, just let me just let me slip maybe my tongue was, down your throat. Maybe he's passing the LSD yeah. on her tongue. On the yeah, he, 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 I've got to hit LSD under my tongue. Just, there you go, take it, yeah. Oh, actually, no, actually, no, I'm just going to back. I just want to back. Oh, oh, I don't have any rent money, eh? Could I stay at your house tonight, eh? Hey, I've got a question. Yeah, Are there it. any female speedsters? Yeah. Are there? Yeah. Well, the one that was the one that Zoom has chained up is a female speedster, and Patty is a female speedster in the comics. So, yeah. They're both female well, speedsters. Well, I don't watch The Flash, and I haven't read it. Patty hasn't so got access to her powers yet, and if I'm right, Jesse Quick has been stripped of hers by a zoo. Oh. There you go. Anyway. Well, you know. Hey, anyway. Speaking of Zoom, though, that dude is terrifying. Yeah. That is. And that fight. Terry's not here. Terry had a question that I'm going to throw out my answer to now because he's not here. His question for last week was Who's been the spookiest villain so far in D- DC or Marvel cinema or TV? Zoom. Yeah, fuck yeah. Out of everything we've seen, Zoom is legitimately this Followed scariest. very closely by Damien Dark. That dude freaks the fuck out yeah, of me. Yeah, but see, Dark's more... Like, Dark strikes me more as intense. Like, he's a thriller. He's uh, John Doe from Seven. Yeah. Whereas mm-hmm. Zoom That's is Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees. So. Yeah, fair enough. And Desperate. But yeah, like, he, he, he freaks the fuck out of me. Like if Zoom, it, it, like a black, to me, he looks like a Black Lantern Flash, which I can't understand because it's not unless Zoom has been resurrected from the dead. That's how Zoom is, Harrison Wells. It's Earth One <laughs> Wells. He's been resurrected from the dead. He's a Black Lantern. Well, like a resurrected Flash. It's Harrison Wells, Earth One. Suck it, Braden. Fuck! I cannot wait no, for that to be right. I cannot wait for that to be right. Wow. It's Earth One Wells. That's why he's so fucked up. It's Earth One Wells doing the exact same thing he did on Earth One. I'm taking all the speed force. Fuck. It's Earth One Wells. It's Earth One Wells fucking with Harrison Wells. Earth One Eobard Thorne is fucking, fucking with, with Harrison Earth Wells. Wells Earth Two. He was he was wiped from existence. He wasn't just killed. Okay, we'll see. It's a paradox. <laughs> it's a paradox. Because we don't know what happened. All we saw was him go into the paradox. We didn't actually... We just assumed well, no, that he was... We saw him go into nothing. He disintegrated, but in theory, in theory, right, if he somehow... Because there is, there is a, technically a world before Eddie shot himself, the one with the tsunami tidal wave that Barry ran past and broke the reality. That, never, that we never went back to. So there is technically another reality. And if that reality's been wiped back and that's the world that you pull, because technically he still exists. Oh, wow. And you create a paradox in and of itself. And it explains why he's so it. fucking determined to kill but why he's trying to get to Earth because he's not ca- he doesn't care about killing Wells, he just keeps saying you're next. He doesn't care about killing Jay Garrick, he just keeps telling him he's on the list. He only cares about killing Barry. He only he's cares so about killing Earth on One killing Flash. Barry. 
That's the only being fast enough to destroy Earth One Flash, and he mocks him the whole time he's doing it. Okay, okay, like okay, okay. So, hang on. I reckon we'll see Earth One Earbud Thorn, yep. not Wells. Yep. But it's still to me that's still that yeah. character. Because it'll be it'll be Earbud Thorn, yep. not not Wells. Fuck. Because there's a paradox I in of itself. Hope you're right. I because here's the other thing, right? Here's here's the biggest part of the paradox. Eddie shoots himself. Therefore, Eobard is unwritten from history. Who created the particle accelerator? Eobard Wells. No, but, but how? No, Wells did. No, because well, no, no, because e e Eobard had already been taken over. Wells yeah. hadn't done shit. Well, 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 done yeah, Earth one. On the day Wells got his well, body taken, well, he said, it. I'm going to start a labs called Star Labs. He hadn't even built it yet. No, 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 no. Wells had done it. Wells created the particle accelerator and created the accident that Bar that turned Barry into yep. the Flash. No, Eobard, Eobard Thorne went that, and said, that, I need it to happen sooner. That was Eobard Thorne that, that yeah, did yeah, that no, in that world. No, no Brayden, I, I understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is it, it happened in the year 2020-something. The one that, yeah. that Eobard overwrote. Now, yep. if Eobard has been has been unwritten from history, Barry should not have his powers. The reactor thing should not happen until 2020-something. But it has still That's happened true. in the year 2013 or whatever it was. That's yeah, what but I'm that's saying. why the paradox is, thing is that was because created, Because that's wasn't still it? there, there's still... That, that's why there's a paradox. That's why there's. That's why that, this thing can exist. That's why there are all these portals everywhere because they haven't closed the paradox. Because yeah, the paradox hasn't. They haven't done jack shit. It's Eobard Thorn. It's Wells. It's Earth One Wells. That's that's the twist, and that's what he kept talking about. I'm playing the Reverse Flash from a different angle. But in the comics, Zoom is Eobard Thorn. That is Professor Zoom yeah. is Eobard Thorn. It's Eobard Thorn. It's Wells. That's absolutely. Whoa. This is going to be good. At least this one's better than the foot moving bullshit. At least we can have a conversation about this as opposed to do, it, do it, both his feet move? Does only one of his foot. Like, exactly. Well, it's glasses, no glasses. What's going on? Does he have a, 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 a wheelchair <laughs> that gives him power? But yeah, so, so, yeah, so be prepared. Well, it's well. It's going to be fucking awesome. Alright, so let, let's, let's get into the awards then for this. Okay. Barbara. Yep. Linda Parks. Barbara Linda Parks. Fuck yeah. Like, jump onto that. See, Linda to me feels like the too obvious of an answer because she really does suck. Yeah, that, that is true. She, you know who she reminded me in this of? Felicity. Paige. Paige. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to shoot light at you now. What 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 do I do next? Day? This is my <laughs> <laughs> that's that's mm -hmm. throwing the gavel. That was yep. yeah. He's he's now that one. Um, look, you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's a good answer. That's yeah. But yeah, like I say, she's too obvious an answer. Mm -hmm. So my answer goes that I'm giving it to Harry Wells because. You want to know? You want to? You want to know something that's going to blow your mind? Yep. I hate Harry Wells more than I hated Harrison Wells. <laughs> <laughs> He's more entertaining, and I'm still. I like. I love Tom Cameron. I'm like, man, I, I love you. Fuck this character. This character sucks. Because once again, I'm. I'm literally. I'm back in the same fucking progress I was at last year. Is he the bad guy? Is he not? And it's just ra grating on me. But yeah, Har I don't know. Like he is. I've joined. Like Harry. Yeah. You know, um. You know how the the hatred that you had for Harrison Wells and his slow movement foot and his wheelchair last season, I'm starting to get that sort of hatred come through with this season. For what? Harrison Wells. For Harry Wells. For Dickhead Wells. Harry Wells. He's a he's a bit of he's a bit of a dick, but I mean the acting's good. It's just I just don't like the character. It just gives me shit. Uh -huh. He's a dick. He's a villain. He's the most he's the most obvious villain I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. That's the worst part. He's, he's so he's, he's got the he's got the the, the glasses bloody, moving, the smirk, and he's a villain. The the attitude, like the way that he's he, the way that he pushed 
Ramon or like, I guess Cisco's right, hand away from you. It's like, consider the fact off. everybody they keep crapping on. Well, where's where's um, Professor Light gone? Well, I know or Doctor Light gone. Well, I know how we can find out. We'll ask Linda. They're practically identical. Oh, why is this Harry Wells? Or, 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 hang on, Harrison Wells, who was a really I'll, nice guy. I'll go you one better. Earth Two Harry Wells has got a little thing to detect metahumans. Yeah. Where the fuck did she go? That way. Yeah, what, I thought, what I'm saying is, is that everybody else they've said is pretty. They're not inverted. It's not an old. It's not mirror universe. No. It's just they're they're still ultimate there. universe. Because that's why they're like well, whatever they're doing. Like they'll they'll think the same. Why is Harry Wells the only one who is so fucking different from Harrison? Because we've seen Harrison Wells, not Eobard. Harrison Wells was all loving on the beach with his wife. Yeah, it's like you know what? I'm great, nice I'm, I'm going to carry a better city by. Advancing he wasn't science. That scumbag. No. And Harry was still a scumbag when you see him in the flashbacks before he turned the reactor on. He was a piece of shit. Yeah. Why? So And why is he covering up how he created Zoom? Yeah, it's all it's all coming in. So anyway, what uh what are you giving out awards wise in terms of for instance? Cisco. Cisco's your grandson. It's just because yeah. like he was petri- he's petrified of Wells and his own powers as well and his own powers yet he he persisted to go through to try and find stuff and like he did it in the most cheesy way like the most annoying like I can't believe that Harry didn't pick up on the fact that what what he was doing at the time yeah but he oh, persisted he did, he did. Oh, Harry knew yeah Wells not. Wells is but, too much of a bad guy not to know. But yeah. He's too self aware. As Braden will find out soon enough. Cisco. And I, I, I like his line of like, if we ever do this again, I'm writing better lines. Again? If we do this again? <laughs> but he's just got the arrogance. He's like, you know what? Yeah, this you guys suck. <laughs> Braden, who are you giving your Cranston to? Zoom. He was brutal as fuck. Well, the way he just sort of Kill Barry. grabbed him. Beat the fucking shit out of him and then rubbed it in everybody's he face. He pulled a Bane. He pulled a comic mm. book Bane where he just dragged, like, look at your hero. Mm. And the fact he's just meat puffing it. Ragdolling it. Yeah. Look at your hero. Look at this piece of shit. And even just running down the street, he's just got him in one hand by the head. Yeah, just ragdolling him. No, by the neck. Yeah. By the by neck. Head. It was by, by the, the neck. neck. Which is, at least that's why his head, head was the, like that. By he was, the head, you've got a bit of movement in your body. By the neck, you're for, he, that's why he's back. He didn't break his back. He broke his neck. Yeah. Mm. Somebody broke his back. He broke al- his neck. Although he, he can move his arms. Doesn't matter. He broke his neck. No, he can yeah. still move your arm. Like if you get a certain vertebrae, yeah, you can still, still, still move your arms. You just can't move your legs because the synapses aren't getting down there. Uh, it depends on his healing as well. He might have healed. He'll get it back. Oh yeah, he'll he'll get it back. He'll, he'll get it back. I mean, he also the other thing is <laughs> well, he got didn't he get shot with one of the power zap things. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get slow foot moving. We're gonna get him in a wheelchair. No, no, we're, we're gonna get slow foot moving Barry in a wheelchair. Yeah, I know. I said that. I said that to Joanna when it finished. I was like, son of a bitch. Next week's episode is gonna be Barry as well. <laughs> but no, did, did Barry get shot with one of those trank things? Yes. That's why he can't move his legs. Because Wells' thing is pulled. He doesn't get shot. Zoom stab stabs him with it. with it. Yeah, but I'm saying he, he got, catches he got, he the one that uh, Wells shoots and just goes fuck you. But he gets hit with him, doesn't he? You get, Cisco shoots yeah, him in the back. No, 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 no. I mean, but Barry takes one. Oh, so that's what. Barry that, takes that's one. what's stopping Barry feeling his legs. Okay. Cisco Maybe. shooting him. That was cool. Or like uh, the moment of like he showed me he's like, fuck, that didn't happen how it's supposed to. What do I do now? Yeah. I didn't think I didn't think past. I made a big mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the the yeah. whole time, uh, dig, 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 go to sleep. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm giving mine. Uh, I, I'm actually giving out a Cranston to an actor and then a Cranston to a moment. Okay. Because I feel they're two separate things. The Cranston to the the actor slash character. I agree with Braden Zoom. That guy's terrifying. That is that legitimately. I get. I watch that and I'm like, that's a creepy looking guy. That's nice. The moment is the part where Barry fights him in free fall because you have no momentum yeah. in free fall. Brilliant. It's pretty that's genius. the flash. Brilliant. That's that's what I expect would expect in a comic where I'm like, 
That's a clever way to get out of jail. I don't even, I don't mind MacGuffins when they're clever. And that's a clever MacGuffin. Yeah. So, all right, let's move on to gloving it and then into arrow. So, how many gloves are you given this one? Four and a half. Wow. I'm probably only going to go with a three because of Linda. I'm going. I'm going to three. Linda, and a half. Linda does. Linda does bring it down. I'm going to three and a half because the shit with Zoom is really good, but this shit with Wells yeah. is already. Excuse me, is already. It's maybe throwing up in my throat a bit there. Just talking about <laughs> colic, it. thinking about the fire. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to Arrow then. Season four, episode five, Haunted. Haunted. Say, when things take a turn for the worse with Sarah who is hunting people who look like Thea, Oliver calls in a favour from an old friend who deals in the mystical, John Constantine. Constantine, Oliver and Laurel pass into another realm to retrieve Sarah's soul. And meanwhile, Felicity learns that Ray is alive and in trouble. In our flashbacks, we learn that Oliver has previously met Constantine on Lian Yu when he was captured. Oliver helps him find a hidden item on the island in a magical room and lets him escape. I just wanted to interject quickly there just to say that um, you said that Felicity works out that Ray's still alive, but she really doesn't for, like, way too fucking long. Mm. Oh, yeah. Legitimately, for somebody who... Spoilers for the episode we're going to talk about in, like, an hour's time. For somebody who Deagle calls the smartest woman alive, she's... Fucking dense. She Consi- is considering that she was, cl- uh, well, they in a previous e- episode, like in a different season, they were saying previously that, on Arrow. No, no, no. The, the episode where she wrote that program that fucked up the yeah yeah you know you can write that and can visualize see, visualize code so quickly in previous seasons goes my phone's fucked. Alfred, can you fix my phone? It's not working. Bath phones, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fantastic, my phone's not working. All these calls, I mean, great now, I'm fix my phone. I think Ray's in it. No, she doesn't think Ray's in it. Oh, no, no. Just, think I think, I think there's numbers on the screen. The matrix on my phone is not working. Ah, <laughs> oh, Felicity. I don't get it. No logic. That's what I think of Felicity. Well said. Well said. Probably more intelligent than anything. Brilliant. Except for two seasons. Yeah. CW, get her to write your episode for Felicity. Now, I got something to play for you guys, because I don't think any of you have heard this. John Constantine in this episode, who we'll get into in a little bit, is probably the greatest character they've had this season who isn't a villain. And by well, that, I mean he's the greatest Very, character. very different feel to the episode. Um, but at one point, he has a business card. <laughs> it has a phone number on it. Now, if you were in America, or anywhere in the world, and you wanted to pay long, uh, long distance, I guess, and you find that phone number, you got the following message. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. I want to hear this. Hi, this is John Constantine. If you feel you've reached this message in error, then sod off, you lucky bastard. The rest of you, don't leave a number. Unlock the door. Cheers. <laughs> So there you That's go. bloody brutal. Nice. Pretty cool, huh? So I love it. I love it when actors do shit like that. Yeah, I like little Easter eggs like that. And he loves his. He loves that character. He lo- like. I he loves tell. it to the Affleck levels of Affleck loves Batman. I can yeah. see that. He in, just, just loves in his it acting. So much. And I love at the end where I... he's got the scepter and Ollie's like, "I need something to take back," and he just snaps off the top and he's like, "Here, take this." They always want the general bit. It's not important. It's just there for decoration. I just want this. See, so, yeah, I'm going to be playing now. Brilliant. Oh, uh, you're gonna have to punch me. It's alright, mate. I've got a hell of a right hook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, oh. and then he's like, "Have you ever seen magic before?" I'm still a bit magic. It's a bit magic. He's fine. Look at me trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> like even when that guy's holding the gun to him, and he's just like, "Hey, gun, radio, bit of a gun. Mm. It's a nice gun." Well, you could just use his magic, couldn't he? Yeah. I still. Love... And then Oliver's like, uh, "Thanks, owe you a favour. Wasn't I here because I owed you a favour?" We're square, mate. Give us a call if you run into problems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I love. I want him to come back. I love how they. I think. I think he's going to play a part in taking down Dark, just because magic he and magic. To. He has to. Hmm. But um, I'll, I'll, I love 
his lighter and I love what they do with his lighter. Mm. It's brilliant. Like, I, I love Constantino. He uses it to drink yeah. where he wants to yeah. go. And... Fucking love it. Yeah. I'm yeah, I want to go watch the series show. now. I, I haven't think, done that uh, yet. I think uh, we might, uh, when we run out of Flash in our retro series, we might throw Constantine in there. Sounds good. Because it's only one season long as well, so it'd make for a fun little adventure. Nice. Yeah, see, I don't think CW will pick uh, Constantine up as a show, but I think they might pick him up as a regular guest star. Yeah, I could, I'd be down like with Like a Malcolm Merlin. Yeah, I'd be down with that if he was in a few times a season, yeah. or for crossover events, or Legends... I mean, he won't be in Legends of Tomorrow because they filmed that, but... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, um... I mean, my my first... My real first exposure to Constantine character Keanu was Reeves. Keanu Reeves. As everybody said, Keanu Reeves is too laid back, because that's what Constantine's yeah. meant to be like in the comics. In the movie, he's just... Well, like you're not it's yeah not no, to be... no look I'm, I'm not saying that the oh no no i'm saying it was good i know that i'm just <laughs> but yeah um <laughs> the one thing that always stuck in my head and is uh his lighter yeah in constantine even in the keanu reeves movie yeah. and I, there was a point where i was a smoker and i learned that little trick where he holds the lighter like that and flicks it down catches it and lights it at the same time i, I learned that just because of that movie nice. and then when i saw the light him using the lighter in this i'm like Oh yeah, the lighter in the comics is yeah. I know it's, it's a thing. it's a pivotal thing. Yeah. but like I just love how they yep yeah, so put that it, on the screen. Is it a magical lighter? Was <laughs> I, it, I no. haven't been it, It's a regular lighter. It's, it's, re- just, it's magic. just magic. It, with he it. can manipulate shit. He just uses it. It's kind of like a. Just it's looks just cool. <laughs> it's he's, like a Horcrux. Yeah, he, he's, it's just <laughs> it's a novelty. Um, he's a chap. So it's kind of like how the current Doctor is a punk rocker. So he's got sonic sunglasses. Mm. Same sort of thing. It's like a sonic screwdriver. Yeah, he's a chav, so he has his lighter. Yeah, it's his shtick. Yeah, he reminded me of um, King Barrett. <laughs> just, just with the way he talked and like the swagger he had. Oh, the oh. swagger! Just oh my that, god, he's um, just fucking oozing off him. Kind of swagger. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's arrogance, but that confidence. Oh, it's arrogant. It's oh, arrogant. Like the confident yeah. Super English ego. chav. Yeah, it's brilliant. Who knows? He's awesome. Brilliant. Yeah. And he I plays it so well. That actor is just amazing. Oh, he's great. All right. What else can we say about this episode? The guys that are on the island with Ollie and Nobs. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That guy with the beards is super. I just want to punch like, like Mini Slade, as I'm going to call him from now on. Mini Slade is a douche. He's not even Mini Slade. He looks like a because he's he's smaller, less muscular, same beard, same hair. Mini Slade. Oh, okay. I shall call him Mini, Mini Slade. Mini. Yeah, I'm giving my Barbara to Felicity. Really? She's, she's a. <laughs> you're surprised by that, are you? <laughs> I'm getting this code on my phone, and you know, oh, it must be a glitch. I'll just ignore it. Yeah, well, look, she, not she, she only knows how to work in Linux, so you can't expect miracles. Yeah, she's not Mister Terrific. She's fucking idiot. Dumb as paint as we'll get she's into the next episode. Useless Barbara. That's what she. Is. Okay. Any, have you got a Barbara? No, I don't think any kind of burnts my Barbara. Oh, you're, too, you're too nice for this show. Have we got yeah. Cranston's or Aaron Paul's or Walt Jr.'s? Damien Dark gets my Cranston. Damien Dark gets Cranston. Yeah, he gets my Cranston. Just because he, he does nothing and I'm scared the fuck off him. Yeah. I like, that. that dude's eyes just... Every time that dude talks, he talks with power and talks through you. And, like, I can... It's like when he's talking to someone on the screen, I can feel what that person is feeling I as they're talking. Hit. Like, it's just like, oh, yeah. fuck, I have a sinking feeling in my gut. Something bad's going to happen. Yeah. And, like, every single time that dude's on the screen, that's all I can watch is that dude. I don't know what the fuck's going on around him. <laughs> I just know he's on, and I should feel like shit. Yeah, that's fair. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. So that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Yeah, I'm going to give out Aaron Paul's. Okay. To one to Damien Dark for some reasons. He's just I love him as a villain so far. And other one to Constantine. Yeah. Brought a very different feel to the show, and I did enjoy his character. Yeah, Constantine's getting my Cranston. It's like hands down. That was it's like the voicemail alone. <laughs> ah. I give my Cranston to Constantine. As Constantine well. as well, yeah. yeah. Just same reasons as above. You just loved him. Yeah, he's just kind of the comic relief. 
What's that to love? Yeah. And he saved the day. Alright, how many gloves are you giving this one? We give it a three. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna but, split mine, yeah. my gloves, in two. One for the flashbacks, one for the now. Because the now story, we're taking like um, Sarah to Nanda Park, and then Nissa mentioning she's still married to Ollie, and all the other, but Thea having to kill some, all the other bullshit, and then you know Constantine needing to go into the altar life and all that sort of shit. That storyline was just a two. It's just an average filler shit. The stuff mm. on the island, four. Because stuff yeah. on the island was intense and really, like, nail-biting. But the problem is they keep wanting me to think they're going to, like, Ollie's in danger. And it's like, you can't make me think he's in danger in a past timeline. Numb nuts. I know he's alive. Yeah. Like, I'm not I'm not worried about it. I know he's alive. Yeah. It's a... It's a flashback. Flashback. If he was dead, he wouldn't be able to go, Diggle, man, let me tell you about the time I fucking was in Russia. But anyway, that's, that's where I come from. Because I just like Constantine. Constantine brought the island and gave the island a better feel. We now know the island has mystical, magical bullshit. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. See, my my, my three gloves is yep. split between Damien Dark and Constantine. Constantine. One and a half fingers each. Yeah. I'll probably go three and a half. I thought the whole thing with like going and saving Sarah and her soul and whatever it was like it was done in like thirty seconds. Yeah. Like, it could have been a lot scarier, or, you know. It was cool. There was a cool Easter egg, though, that the final boss that came in had his arm behind his back and forth. Oh, I like saw Rache. that. I was like, that's Raish. That but is it's because uh, it's in her head, it makes sense that Raish would be the final boss. Raish is the one who... Yeah. Put it she's the reason she's dead. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that, that, I saw that. I'm like, oh, my God. Mm, it's cool. That was cool. I, and look, I was sort of annoyed that they didn't reveal the, the face of it. Yeah. Because I was like, please let it be... Matt Noble. Is yeah. that Matt Noble? Yeah, Matt yeah. Noble. I was like, please let it be. And then they didn't reveal from my, I was like, you I was, Yeah, well, they were completely faceless. Yeah. So just like yeah. dark souls. I, uh, I actually have to give an honourable mention, though, in these in this episode to Laurel for not being kind of, like, useless. She, she's she's actually this not... Ep- well, this season, she's... She's, she's not been... Yeah, like, I like Laurel this season. She's, she's not in the top anymore. Rehab's yeah. worked for her. Yeah. Well, she's got focus now. I think that's the whole point, is that she's going to redeem herself before her and Oliver end up back together. Don't say that. <laughs> All right. Lost Souls. Felicity is frantic when she learns that Ray is alive and being held by Damien Duck. Her guilt over not finding Ray sooner causes tension between her and Oliver, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sarah joins Laurel, Thea, and the team on a rescue mission for Ray. However, the effects of the Lazarus Pit takes over and threaten to jeopardise the entire operation with Sarah giving in to the bloodlust. Ray is rescued with the help of Star City Cisco, and Sarah leaves town to sort out her pit issues. <laughs> so... Um, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> well, for this video, it's like just like rags. I'm glad I didn't have to oh. say it. That was whole time. What was, was up with what was up with Felicity in this episode? Let's I think it's Ray. I think it's, like, it's, it's Ray. She's, she's, she's Ray. starting to gush now that Ray's back. She's like, gush. She's the fucking Niagara Falls all over fucking Palmer. Yeah, I believe we talked that up earlier. Yeah. Okay. Let let let's go let's go from the start. Let's, let's trail this thing. Fire hydrant. And we'll all, we'll all throw our two cents in piece by piece. Let's go from part one. Now. For weeks, Felicity has not given a fuck about Ray, about the phone, about any of that shit. <laughs> then the start of this week, so the end of last week, she finds out Ray's still alive. So this week starts with her nothing but making sure Ray comes back and absolute Ray's important and all that. Then so much so that Oliver drags her home and she gets into a fight with him where she actually argues with him and says, you know, we, we left our friends, we should have been doing that stuff, and then admits it was her idea to do it. So let's just talk that segment to begin with. What the fuck? Like, how is this character meant to be in any way likable or good when she's just basically saying, yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm a whorebag. I can't make my mind up. Okay, then Ray gets captured. She spends... All she cares about is worrying about him getting freed. She's putting everybody else in danger and shit. She's acting like Ray is her one and only. 
but she's already made the decision that he wasn't. So I don't get what they're trying to do here. She obviously hit the nail on the head in this episode with something she said, was she has lost herself in her relationship with Oliver. But that's how it's Um, supposed to be, according to her mum. That's what love is. (laughs) Don't you know what love is? I want her to show you. Yeah, but I think that applies to the whole fucking show. The whole fucking show has been lost in their relationship. Yep. Yep. Now, something Adriana just alluded to before that I picked up on that really annoyed me for weeks and weeks and weeks. Felicity's clothing has gone from her demure, always, like, you know, her solid dresses and whatever else to making sure there's tits and skin and whatever. So when your mum comes back and suddenly all of that's gone Prim back proper. to... Yeah. Which to me makes me... makes Screams out to me that... Because she didn't know her mother was coming before that scene. So it screams to me that the writers are now going, oh, no, we need to get her back to... It's we can't just, ever be a slut when she slut shamed her mum the last time she was here. I think it's just to make her mum look like more of a hoe bag. Uh, I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand. But yeah, before, okay, yeah, you, I can see where you're going. That's coming at the end. We're nearly there. So then, then let's move into the good parts. We know Ray's alive now, and Ray's all happy. He's in his box, but even then, he's still just like, "Yeah, I'm Ray." Oh no! What's going on, dude? Those mandibles. You truly yeah, do not understand like, how awesome they are until you're a minute of Yeah, he's, he's just <laughs> no, like, he's still Ray. And I even love the fact even Diggle is like, uh, yeah, Ray's still Ray. So, yeah, it's... I don't... I like that aspect. I like the fact that they brought that back. I like... I I, I guess leaving Felicity aside, because we'll come back into that part. Yep. I like Laurel in this episode. Yep. I like Thea in this episode. Yep. I like some of Sarah... But I didn't understand why somebody with league training is having such a hard problem when Thea, who's just, like, mentally deficient, it seems, isn't. <laughs> and the other thing I didn't like is I don't like... Well, thanks for bringing me back from the pit, but uh, peace, I'll see you when Legends of Tomorrow starts. Yeah, that was a dick move. That was such a... That's Harry Allen. Thanks for getting me out of jail. Well, see you, see you in Season 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go okay, so on the I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I've got a semi-counterpoint to one of your gripes. And that is that um, Sarah not being able to cope with this as much as Thea, because Thea wasn't technically dead. Okay. And Sarah's been dead for six months or so. Yep. Okay. Um, See, I thought that Sarah was supposed to be cured of the bloodlust by having her guilt taken away with Sarah being resurrected, because that's what Malcolm said. I think you're right, yeah. but... I'll no, 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 sorry, they explained that, because the reason Thea's blood loss isn't dead is because who killed her was uh, Raish, and she didn't kill Raish. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because someone else killed Raish, but so no, her... no, what you're thinking of, Raiden, putting the soul back in the body stopped Sarah wanting to kill Thea. It hasn't stopped the blood loss, it's just stopped her wanting to kill Thea. Yeah. Yeah, but I remember a conversation before they brought Sarah back, and she was, uh, and Malcolm was dead set against it, and he said, because Thea was the one to kill her, said, all right, well, I can help you fix it by getting her brought back. Sorry. And easing your conscience. Okay. You could well be right on that. You could well be right. Um... Uh, as for Sarah's, uh, yeah, she's, she's still got it. No doubt about it. And then finally, so so we get, um, I'm, I'm going to cover the very last scene, last, because it's pretty <laughs> impressive where I think that's going. So we'll push that right at the end. So then finally, so Ray's back and yep. everything's good and Team team Ari's all healthy and happy again. Um, actually, going back one further, sorry, just before we get there. Mr. Terrific in this episode is a fucking moron. For the smartest man alive, he doesn't work out that Oliver Queen is the arrow, despite the fact he clearly worked it out. And then the fact, once again, I'm on a team with Felicity, dude who sounds exactly like Deagle, dude who sounds exactly like Chick who sounds like Laurel, Chick who sounds like Thea, Chick who sounds like Sarah, Chick who sounds like that detective cop I'm always seeing. Hmm, who's the green arrow? No, the jaw's not right. That shot me. I did like, uh, you're married, he's straight, you're married, he's straight, you're married, he's straight. <laughs> that, was, that was a really good gag. Um, so yeah, that, that got to me, but I also love the fact Mr. Terrific loves Ray Palmer. 
loves Ray Palmer. And I love Ray being like, well, I'm, I'm technically dead, so it's still your company. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm dead. Just let, let me sort my shit out yeah, first. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've been yeah, dead. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just come get it off you later. Yeah. Dude, I want a cheeseburger. I want to bang some clothes. I just, I want a brew. He'll get it off when she's when she's dead. Um, so then, so finally, Felicity and Oliver have their big makeup and and whatever else, and the chemistry is just off the charts. Like oh, I said, the so precipitation chemistry. of a desert. So, Matt, Can we get a tumbleweed. <laughs> From the standpoint of a relationship thing, uh-huh. that this dude's come back. She's had feelings for him before, and she chose Ollie. Who's got the and money now? Two. Yep. Just saying. Yep. No, I'm not saying she a gold digger, but. But all I'm getting at is that she if. She's messing with that broke. Oh, with, with the broke nigger. <laughs> some broke fellas. Some broke porch runners. Um, some broke back mountain people. Um, some broke Vegemite. But what I'm getting at is that if. if I say. <laughs> in an alternate reality, you dumped uh, Adriana dumped you for me mm. because you just dis- and then you disappeared. And then I shrunk then you, for six months and sent shit into her phone. Yeah, she and doesn't then, understand for four and years. Then, and, then, and then you come back. Yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm like building a relationship with her, and we're like, oh, you know, I'm thinking about getting married. And then all of a sudden, you're spending all your time researching shit about him. Mm. I'd be pissed. I. uh... And yeah. you should be pissed as well. I want to deal with the... No, we, I was researching cockroaches and shit while I was away. But before, wanna, you, before you blew yourself up, the bitch oh, had, had, had just climbed off your junk and jumped on okay, someone no, else's. I jumped on yours, in fact. Yeah. Let's... Let's... Right, let, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Damien Dark saw Felicity smoke. Yes! On that screen. Yes. That She's means dead. he knows, oh, that she, he knows she, Felicity she is involved with both the arrow... And, and Ray, Ray Palmer. Palmer. She'd so be let's dead. Put a How long until Felicity dies? Two episodes. Yeah, two, three episodes. It's probably in the halfway point. I'm calling two, three like episodes. 12, so like... I reckon by... I will, I will call it the last episode of this year. Whatever the last dead episode of 2015 is. I'm saying... By episode 10, she's out of here. Yeah, I reckon somewhere between 10 and 12. No, I reckon... She's gone before Legends of Tomorrow. Episode 10. She's definitely gone before the second half because all the cast photos have everybody but her in it. Yeah. You made the point that um, with Barry, it was, right was it Barry said that he, he was back fighting with Zoom or dealing with Zoom? In the... In the, like, in the crossover at the, so at the end of yeah, the... That would have to... He's still dealing with, with Zoom and it's he's looking pretty pissed off for having tired of having to deal with Zoom, so... He's obviously had a few inf- confrontations with Zoom. So that's four episodes away. Yeah. Yeah. I still reckon... And, and I bet she dies at the crossover. I'm calling episode 10. Because that actually, that would make the most sense because Ollie would... No, she's going to die just after the crossover. They're going to get through the crossover and then she'll die the first episode out. Because they'll want you all to watch the crossover, so you tune in the next week, and that's when they'll twist the knife. Because Bar- that, that's how Ollie finds out about Zoom, is in the crossover. Because the crossover, from what I understand, sets up Legends. Okay. Yeah, so I, I believe reckon, so. I reckon she dies the episode after the crossover, so five weeks. Alright. See so, yeah, how it goes. The QB thing at the end. Uh, I've had a quick chat to Matt, but Brayden, do you know what that was? That thing that Damien Dark wanted that dude to power at the end. Yeah, I saw something to do with um, one of those remotes that opens a gateway to Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, it's called a mother box, and it opens up a boom tube to Apocalypse, which means Dark Seed is who Damien Dark works for. Which <laughs> may mean we get. Uh, which would explain why you'd need Constantine back and shit. Like, I, I I, was actually saying to Matt earlier today, I feel like they're pulling something on Flash, and I'll, I'll say what it is now, and I reckon they're pulling the, the same thing on Arrow. I don't think Zoom is this season's villain. I think Zoom Zoom is going to kind of disappear. He'll be back later. Oh, I think he disappears at a certain point, and I think that... Um, no, I think <clears throat> Reverse Flash is still this season's villain. I think that's what it's all kind of leading towards somehow. But Dark Sea or Dark Side is the big bad for Arrow. It's 
it's going to be big. It's either that or Damien Dark doesn't actually leave at the end of this year because Dark's meant to be a big part of Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. So I'm wondering if Dark doesn't actually not if Dark like is more than one year. If he if his arc carries into next year and the end of this season is picking up the boom tube. Because then that ties up the final year and Ollie's Island is bringing him towards the ultimate evil. And then you get two seasons of Arrow after that. As the Arrow. Because beating Apocalypse, that would be the thing that would cement you as, okay, you are now officially a superhero. On par with... Yeah, Superman and... Yeah, on the others. Alright, so that's that talked about. Let's hand out our awards. I'm going to go first of all with a Felicity Smoke for Felicity Smoke. Yep. Because uh, she's earned it this time. Because once again, this time yep. she went, she, she inverted it off of Ollie onto Ray. And turned the fire hydrant on. Yeah. Well, she can't help it. You can't help natural chemistry. Like, it's almost like... I know, I just, it's almost like the two characters, like, personalities and character profiles are written to mesh each other or something. It's kind of like, you know how, like, you always, no matter what, you always see Lois and Clark, and those personalities, they always <laughs> mesh each other so well, like they're written to be together. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? It's yeah. weird. It's, it's mm. kind of like... Laurel, Laurel and Oliver? Yeah. Or, um... Alfred and Leslie? Uh, and Alfred and Leslie, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? It's almost mm. like something, or, or maybe sort of preordained, Selene. like a written, re, written somewhere before. Yeah, it's almost yeah, like but it's those, canon, story, you those could stories say. have all been done before. Not something different because of the chemistry. But, um, 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 um. All right, so, all right, yeah, so we've got, got a resident Lizzie fan over here. Oh no! <laughs> has anybody got? Uh, has anybody got any barbers for this episode? Actual barbers. Felicity. Yeah, Felicity gets barbers. Not... Felicity gets home angry. Felicity gets a bullet to the fucking face. No, it won't be a bullet, it'll be something magic, mate. Mr. Terrific for, yeah. like, the whole... For being the smartest, dumbest man on the planet. No, it's the wrong jaw, eh? Even though it's identical. I, I, I just... Nah, it's the wrong jaw, eh? It's not, it's not quite right, eh? Okay. <laughs> Who is getting crazy then? Ray. 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 I'm so glad Ray's back. Like, literally, yeah, I jumped in the Ray. air and whooped because I was like, yes! This show's finally watchable again! Ray's back! Yeah! Ray's Did back. we call that he was going to be not dead and just Yeah, we, already, well, we knew he wasn't dead because he's in Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, no, but, like, when, when the explosion happened on that episode, did we all call and say, no, he's not dead? Yeah, we all said he trumped. Cool. We all said he trumped. We did. Yeah, None of us worked out that he was in Damien Dark's office, which was the coolest reveal ever when Damien Dark's head popped up. Oh, I, was like, cause I was like, this is cool. Where's he going to be? I can't wait there. I was, I was thinking he's going to be like in the corner of a lab somewhere. He's like, dude, fucking, can you just yeah. go like, get this cockroach from me? I he's actually got... thought it was going to be Lance's desk. And that Lance didn't realise what was like. I thought it was going to be something bigger and that he, like, it was like a case with something else in it. And yeah. that Ray was just stuck. But when Dark's head <laughs> popped in, I was like, oh, motherfucker. That was cool. That was cool. So, yeah. right, further, you, further proof that Damon Dark scares the, the best. fuck out of I, me. Just before you go into your crescent, I'll get there in a sec. I just want to bring something up that, that Matt brought up earlier when he's talking about Damien Dark being intense. Damien Dark is like half a foot to three quarters of a foot shorter than uh, everyone Lance, else. Than Lance. Yet yeah, that moment where he's like, "This is the last time you summon me, detective. I I call you." Which is just I'm watching. I'm like, God damn, that guy's intense. So, mm. And like he just. Yeah, he blows most people else off the screen. That's right. He's a, he's a movie actor. Mm. I cannot watch that. anything else other than his eyes when yep. he's on yeah. the screen. I'm just like. <laughs> so, all right, let's move on then to Supergirl episode two, Stronger Together. Put, my put, your, put your glasses on there. I, I, I just want to make a, a, a note here. <laughs> Do you not know who she is anymore? I don't know who you are anymore. Because she's wearing glasses? But I'm feeling like the clung biscuit of the fat cave at the moment because I'm the only motherfucker without glasses on. Well, you're not intelligent, but that's why. <laughs> you know, I have the bad. I'm sorry, Felicity. <laughs> she wears glasses. Yeah, she does because she's the most intelligent woman in, on the planet. Yeah. Apparently. Man. Alright, so guys, are you guys ready to move on to the first official conversation about Supergirl? I'm not sure. <laughs> it seems like a bit of a an arduous task, but sure. I'm, I'm going to break the fourth wall for you as you there at home. may notice a sudden shift in the energy on this show. <laughs> We've spent nearly a fucking hour 
trying to fix up a technical issue, and I'm going to call it out on what it is. My fucking sucks! Mayor, <laughs> what the fuck? Fix your internet, Mayor. What the fuck? Yeah. I wouldn't have a clue. I'd scored this computer for nothing. That seems to be better. Alright, I'm not doing the show until I've seen five minutes of this fucking camera. Come Jesus Christ. I've seen some bullshit in you my know, day, Mayor. I've seen I'm, some bullshit in my day. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just going to have to interrupt here for a second just because I, I feel that this needs to be said because it's. It's just hurting. I've muted it! Fuck! <laughs> it's not gonna work! <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, pretty. Twist them! Nah, no, I fucking ruined it. Alright, let's move on to Supergirl Episode 2 Stronger Together. After Supergirl's good intentions of saving the day turns into further disasters, um, the media jumps on it and questions her abilities as a superhero. Kat, in a conversation with Kara, recommends that Supergirl needs to start small and work her way up, just like she had done. And that is what Kara does with the help of Wynn and James, with a montage. Hank and Alex put Kara through extensive physical training to make sure that she's capable of being a superhero. There is an insect-like alien called Helgramite. Helgramite? Yep. Mm -hmm. Who is one of the escapees from Krypton Prison, Fort Roz, and is on Earth looking for food, namely the banned pesticide DDT because of its own molecular structure. The DEO set up an ambush to get the Helgramite, but he escapes, kidnapping Alex and taking her to Astra, Kara's evil aunt. Sardina. Yeah. As Kara and Astra fight, Hank injures Astra with a kryptonite knife and, <laughs> <laughs> and is this when you read that in the style of Proby or something and Helgramite is um, killed by Alex Astra is surprised of Kara's strength and that humans know how to weaken Kryptonians and decides that her plans need to be postponed for a while um, in the meantime Kat has been pressuring James to get an interview with Supergirl and in a twist, Hank's eyes also glow red, suggesting he has a secret of his own. Sure does. Closeted alien, perhaps? No. He Clos zoomed. Clos <laughs> closeted <laughs> cybernetic being. Which we'll find out probably around episode 6. If uh, the formula follows all the other formulas like it seems like it's going to. Now, um, Matt, I understand you didn't like this episode, so I'm going to throw it over to you first. So why don't you hit me with your best shot? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot, Matt? Far away. Because you're a real tough cookie with a long history of breaking little hearts like the one in Supergirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, well done. No, I just, I, I can't stand this. I don't know what it is. I know it's the first season and it's always, it's the same as like Flash and Arrow. It was cheesy years, all fuck. But I just I can't it's, it hasn't it hasn't got me going. I want to know what's happening next. I think of this as like shit. I gotta watch this fucking pile of crap so that I can review it on this stupid podcast with this stupid mo internet. But I actually I uh, sorry I take that back. The stupid podcast. It's not a stupid podcast. I love this podcast. It's just the stupid <laughs> no, mo internet. Like, that like, I fucking you guys, yeah, it's like oh shit. No, my contract's up for a year. Oh fuck! <laughs> There's only two episodes left in this season. Waka. Ah, uh, backpedal, backpedal. Uh, where, where are the pedals? <laughs> there are no pedals. It's in a cave. Um, <laughs> but no, it just it hasn't. I, I don't feel it. Like I don't. I don't feel it's the, not hitting you with its best shot. No, just not. And um, no, I'll agree with you a bit there, bro. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling like oh shit, what's going to happen next? Um, you know, do with the red glowing eyes. Don't really care that much at yeah, this and, point. And, and, but um, the stupid task it's, force is just like it's still enjoyable, though. I'm still enjoying it. I find it amusing. It's full of cliches. 
Um, but yeah, I, I can understand where you're coming from. Where yeah, it's just it just hasn't got your hook. There is no hook. The hook, the hook is the fact that su yeah. it, she's Superman's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the hook to me. It's just like, I'm Superman's cousin, so I should be amazing too. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah. I can see that. But I think what... Okay, I, see, I can see this one in two ways. One, and I'll throw up Adrian a very opinion on this in a sec, but I think it comes down to th this is being written for... For, for, fe for a female audience, primarily. Where, as opposed to, you've got Arrow, which has a female audience, but is a show about a dude, and the females on Yeah, but the, fem with. the female audience for Arrow is stupid, because they're all on fucking Felicity. But the, the problem is that the, the females on Arrow are written like Felicity. And then you look on The Flash, and the females on The Flash are either dumb as Linda Park, or as painful as Iris, where they just are hot and cold. And the only one that's of use on that show is Caitlin, and even then she's so fucking passive. Really? Yeah, she's not, she's not written in kind of a... She's got no balls, as it were. Yeah. Whereas on this show, all the females are probably stronger than the males. And the, it's, it's, it, I look yeah, at it as... I, I, read a, I read a report... I read a report. I read an interview with the guys who made How I Met Your Mother back near the beginning, before it went to shit. And one of the things they said they tried to do on their show was flip gender, where, if you notice, all the guys in the show act the way generally feminine stereotypes act, and the chicks on the show act more like dudes. Mm -hmm. that's what I think Supergirl is trying to do is that they're, they're flipping the paradigm so Wynn for instance is Felicity her sister is Diggle mm -hmm. you know what I mean the black guy is Lance like yeah. glowy eyes Lance that, or whatever that, that, that's and I fun. think that's what, they're, that, that's what they're trying to do is spin the paradigm a little bit so that because it's not written this one isn't written for us we're not the target audience this time we're the target audience for the other three <laughs> We're not the target audience for this one. Adriana is the target audience for this one. I've just never been a fan of Supergirl ever since that stupid girl movie. Um, so, see that uh, to me the the way I look at it is it, this is this feels no different than Superman. This is Superman gender reversed. Okay, so he, I'm going to put this to you. I don't like Lois and Clark either. I know I'm saying that, but but you, you you've been saying that since we started doing Superman that you've realised that you don't like Superman anymore. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate it. I think that's what it is. This is yeah. still just Superman. The S is still hope. <laughs> still fucking Zod with the shit beard. It's still Zadina, yeah, <laughs> exactly. With like the um, no, oh, with the, oh, like we're just we're no, just gonna, I'm just going to write another another character in, but we'll we'll make it a twin sister so we can use the same actor. Why did they have a fight in the air? Like they have this fight where they're flying. It's like, where's the work? And they're the fly, so fucking. They the, 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 the fly inches off the ground to tackle yeah, each other, but just fucking go up. It doesn't make any. Like go to the fucking stars with a with a fucking a hostage oh, in suit. Oh, didn't they kind of like jump <laughs> up at each other? Wasn't that sort the of. point? They kind of jump up and just like. Yeah. They did it in in the next episode as well. There was unnecessary flying. Oh, we'll get into the next episode because I, I I have some problems with the next episode just for cool. the fact that there were yeah, about so six I. times the villain could have been stopped and she was just like, oh well. <laughs> but Adriana, what did you think of what if, Supergirl episode two? What are you thinking of Supergirl as a show? Like, is it do you prefer it to Arrow, Gotham, Flash, or are they still more interesting? Or well, you don't watch well, Flash, but yeah, like a, I at least I can hear it when you watch it, and it just doesn't interest me. It's just. I don't understand how you can hear the voice of Tom Kavanagh and be like, I don't want to watch that show. I hear that voice and I'm like, well, he's okay. speak to me, God. It's just the, the whole thing that just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, but anyway, Supergirl, like you say, <laughs> I have actually been enjoying it. Because it is cliche, but there are points like she actually fights men as well. It's not yeah. just they're all female. Like she kicks the shit that's, out of men. It's just she's trying. She's, she's learning. Rousey. She's learning her power with still that's with fine. Superman. Was, but the, there's, <coughs> there's there's there's, there's an element of like. Plus, she's not a pussy. Okay, she's the only one on that show not a pussy. Yeah, actually, no, that's fine, and I got no problem with that. But and I get you're playing a ditzy character, and like that's the whole point of her in. It's her secret desire. It's her secret desire. That's cool. I can get that. No worries. But don't be stupid when you're Supergirl. Physics dictates that you, if you push a ship, it would be easier than trying to pull a ship and then you won't tear the fucking hull oh, off. But the problem with that is that the ship, the back of the ship, the stern? Yep. Bow no, no, bow. The bow's the front? The stern's the front, bow's the back? Yep. Okay. The bow no, of the no, ship... It's starboard, I think, isn't it? No, starboard's left and port is right. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
the bow is the bow? Yeah, I believe the so. The bow of the ship was closer to the barrels that are exploding than the front. Yeah. So if you push the ship mm. filled with oil, you have to push it. You have to push the entirety of the ship past the explosion that's already spreading out. But if you're pulling the ship, like what I'm saying is, you've got to push say six kilometers. You only have to pull it one. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna. And even though she cracked the hole, but you've got to pull it behind you. Want to pull... it? Yeah. I think that was kind of the point more because she can't think on the spot quick enough. Yeah. See, that was a fucking amazing yeah. catch for those. That yeah, that was important. That. That's true. But um, at what? At what point does a tugboat hold onto the ship? I think closer, like, around the middle. Yeah, it grabs the, right. the tow line. The tow line hangs down. Yeah, like, closer to the sea. Around the... Yeah, it pulls it near the bottom. Uh, so kind of like an axle uh, on a car. Because, you don't pull it by the bumper. Because the fireman was just like, oh, Superman would, like, blow it out. And so she tried that, because, but because fire gets <laughs> yeah, larger yeah, with yeah, oxygen, that, she's like, oh, shit, um, and tried something else. That's cool. Okay, I'm not, so, I'm, yeah, so that... What I'm getting at is she pulled here, right? The barrel, like... Oh, this you're saying she shoot onto the, the bow and pushed it that way. I'm with you. Sorry, I thought you meant push it from the front, and I'm like, that's that's straight up retarded, yo. Or inversely. Or what is the what? Hang or, on. What or, hang on, hang to, on. Or, what does Wells have to do with this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Also, so also. <laughs> anywhere just, from the front. Yeah, you don't pull a fault. Yeah. Anyway, the other thing she could have fucking done, <laughs> if she's under a plane, swim the fuck underwater, lift the fucking ship up in the air. Yeah, but they had no. Big it, it's, it's up in the air. The fucking barrels exploded. Put but the they ship had, back. They had, to hold, they had to hold on to their flying budget for later on for the fire. All I'm saying is, physic dictates that if you pull from here with a stronger force than the ship can hold, then the ter- tensile strength of the steel cause is gonna fucking break. That's why she was just you like. Tear the hull, you breach the hull, you're right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, alright, so, Brayden, have you got anything to say about Supergirl? Uh, uh, not really, yeah, there was a lot of stupid things in there, but there was a lot of, yeah, fun, quirky, pack full of cliched things. Overall, Straight I enjoyed it, you know, I'll keep watching it, um, <laughs> I'm not hooked or anything like that, but... Yeah. I do like Lister Flockhart as, um, Cat, though. As Cat Grant. I can't yeah. get past. It's her face. She told the story. I can't remember if it was in this one or the next one, but she told the story about how she worked for Perry White and whatnot. Yeah. I can't get past picturing her as Cat Grant from. Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark. Yeah. I'm, like, how the fuck can you go from that to this? I just can't get past it. Yeah. Hmm. But. There's, there's a. There, I, I think that might have been episode three because there's a lot yeah. of. There's a lot of Superman references in episode three. I don't know yeah. if you caught them all. Oh, Lord. Um, but we'll get there in a minute. Let's let's hand out some awards then for this one, shall we? Who's got Barbaras? Any Barbaras? Oh, hang on, no. I have something I need to bring up first before that. Because I've just realised I had some amnesia there. I had to go to the hospital this week because of this episode. For legit. My teeth nearly fucking fell off my body. <laughs> It did. It hurt so bad. My nipples got twisted so bad. Did you get, like, twisted so I broke off like a... Uh... Ah! Oh, my nipples, they hurt! They hurt when I twist them! Yeah, my nipples ruptured the bow, the whole of my body, mate, <laughs> was ruptured this week. Okay. And that was because... Okay. So, earlier in the episode, Clara's sister... Clara. Cara's sister throws her in a room. Yep. Throws on some kryptonite and is all like, suck a bitch, see what kryptonite does? And she's all like, ah, oh, kryptonite, my one weakness, I can't move. Right? As you're meant to fucking do when you get kryptonite. Then later on, like, uh, oh. glowy eyes, Captain yep. Glowy eyes, stabs kryptonite through Zodina's arm. And Zodina, one, is just like, oh no. That hurt. Or something. I know it's supposed to hurt. fly off. Yeah. She can fly up and return, Bullshit. and then back when she's when she's back at the lab with whatever the brainiac looking motherfucker is that's researching the knife, she's just like, "Oh, get it away from me! My powers are still fading." And it's like, "Wow, yeah, you really seem like you're fading there. What with your shitty acting skills, and... Zodina? You <laughs> suck. Grow a fucking beard." Yeah. Grow a grey streak. Jesus, that was just what the what the fuck, mate. 
So yeah, twisted my, twisted my teeth clean off. So, let's get in. Brings me to my next point. Barbara going to Zardina. Yeah. And look, I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Yeah, I'll like jump onto that. Yeah. Yeah, I might jump onto that too, I think. Yeah, see, it's a valid point. You're not wrong. Right yeah. I'm not wrong. Never wrong. That's my gimmick. <laughs> Never wrong for life. That's how we say it in the hood, bro. On the gang signs. You don't have that gang sign. You shut up, Rad. What's your gang sign going to be? On the pro. <laughs> Bring up all my peas at you. <laughs> boop, 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 pow. Pow. Pow, 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 yeah. Chee -chee 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 -chee. I haven't done this. I haven't done this in a long time. Fuck you, thunder! You can suck my dick. You can't get me thunder because you're just God's fart. Speaking of fart, just thinking up my studio tonight with yours. I know that was a riff, right? Anyway, that's how much fucking shit that this fucking thing gave me. Yeah, your whole ruptured, mate. My my uh, bowel <laughs> ruptured. <laughs> Let's uh. Well spilled. What about, what about, uh, Cranston's? Jimmy. Yeah, I was going to say Jimmy. I love Jimmy. He's, he, 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 goddamn sultry as a voice coming in your car. I need to help you up, Jimmy. He's, I, th I think he's, I'm actually going to go, um, with Supergirl, because there's not really much story pushing this along at the moment. It's just the characters, and I enjoy her quirkiness and... Um, you see a little, you do see little bits of Clark Kent in there, and oh. I like it. Like, that's just because you're looking at. Like, that's just because you're looking at other women that aren't married. Have you got a Kristen? I'll probably go with Jimmy. Jimmy? Yeah, or James. Jimmy! Good answer. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Leave me alone! Leave me alone, Jimmy! So, how many gloves are we giving this beast? I'll give it a three. Three and a half. Yeah, three, two. I really Matt's so salty. Matt's saltier than a bag of original crisps. I'm saltier than an apprentice without tools. With salt. You're saltier than weak old popcorn. <laughs> Left in the like the the movie stand. It's like soggy and like just yeah. You're saltier than the opposite of the chips you get from. No, you know what? I'm I'm as salty as like. The Macca's vat of fry, or not the fat, the the holding bay of fries where they salt them. The bottom of that. And they, they clean that every night. That's how salty I am over this thing. Okay. <laughs> Episode 3, Fight or Flight. Fucking because yawn. Kara is super in love with James, says she'll do the interview so that he doesn't get fired. During the interview with um, Kat, Supergirl accidentally reveals that she's Superman's cousin. Um... The antagonist this week is Reactron, who has a grudge against Superman and is seeking Supergirl to kill her to get his revenge. Um, Reactron is a real result of a reactor meltdown that Superman had stopped in the past, which killed his wife, but he became like some mutant human who wears a suit of reactor stuff. <laughs> she manages to fight him off and he flees. Um, Reactron goes to Lord Technology Labs and kidnaps Maxwell Lord to get him to fix his suit, which gives him his powers. Supergirl goes to Reactron's hideout and manages to save Maxwell Douche Lord, but he is too strong. Superman comes to save her as she drifts in and out of consciousness. James had called Superman and Kara is mad with him. She believes that she's just as good and deserves to be treated with the same respect that Superman gets. During a party that Kat had decided to throw to celebrate her scoop story on Supergirl, which is a win against her rival, the Daily Planet, Reactron breaks in, Perry White. Yep, breaks in to find Supergirl. James acts as a distraction while Supergirl saves the day. She, Kara goes to find James, who is talking to his ex fiance Lucy Lane, who has come to find him to try and patch up their relationship. Kara is sad, but Superman contacts her and she's happy again. Alright. Uh, there's a few things we need to talk about. One thing we need to get off our bat, off, our, off the bat right away. Matt, you must have fucking loved this episode, Supergirl. Do you know why? Because you finally have a reason to like see one of your favourite actors from one of your favourite TV series from your sorry, your favourite film series on a TV show. 
And that would, of course, be the Doctor from Twilight. Who I know I is the Doctor from Twilight. Hardly <laughs> wait. But you know him as from your favourite film of all time, the Doctor from Twilight. Doctor Mick Fangs a lot, I assume his name is, in that. Oh. Playing Maxwell Lord in Dr. this. Sparkle. Dr. Sparkle. Dr. Sparkle, yeah. See, you pretend, but inside you, you, you did a backflip. You're all like, yeah, Dr. Oh. Sparkle's on the screen. Oh. Now we're talking. I Mr. This. Sparkler! I, I cannot... <laughs> Mr. Sparkler! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stand Supergirl. Like, I hated this episode. I didn't like this episode. Much. Really? This episode was so... Yeah, I did. Can, can you remind me what the title of uh, the last episode was? Yeah, Stronger here, together. Here, here. Pa pardon? Stronger together. Stronger together. <laughs> oh, you mean, like, no. how she said that... She didn't want to be like Superman because she wanted to work as a team. But then this episode, she was like, "No, fuck off! I want to do it myself." Hey, look, man. There's a, there were a couple of there were a couple of glitches in this episode. I'll give you that. Like, for instance, <laughs> at the very end, Jimmy has radiation poisoning because she hasn't actually closed <laughs> her hands to keep all the radiation in. Yeah, so I was thinking that as Jimmy's well. dead. Um, um. Jimmy's more fucked up than Reactron. Also, Reactron. Sounds like a villain from Futurama, even though he's an actual DC so villain. As I heard that, I'm like, re I did. I honestly thought I'm like that. Isn't that something Bender's been on? <laughs> I was, just, I was, just, like I was, just, from I was like just waiting Futurama. for him to say like, bite my shiny metal ass. So there was that. Then I, I'm gonna get into what I liked about the episode because it's gonna sound like I didn't like it for the longest time. But there were things that saved me. Here's what I didn't like: that dude's suit flies maybe maybe half the speed that uh, what what. Brayden, in your favourite Iron Man movie, what was the guy with the beard? The bald head. <laughs> Obadiah Stane, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, has yeah. that big metal suit that he doesn't bother accounting for the, the freezing. freezing. He moved, the guy in this episode moved slower than that thing. We saw in the last episode, Supergirl can break the sound barrier, but she doesn't catch him when he flies off first. Then, he, when he's fucking up the Cat Grant's thing, and Supergirl mm. catches that concrete pillar, you know what he could do? Swing the fucking thing at him, knock him down. Right, champ, I'm gonna go home. You got 15 minutes to pull yourself together. It's fucking well went around. Duk, 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 so I don't. That, that, and, and also, at no point in this episode, she only uses her fists, despite having the eye thing and everything else. Or speed Again, that's a case of her still working it out. I guess, but it's just. But she's, 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 she, she has to, because she has like the. Fight and stuff with this. I'm sorry. And, and, but here, here's another thing as well. She's she technically, I will give it. I actually think she could have taken him had she had the chance. But the problem was Jimmy. Jimmy took the chance away from her, as it were. I no know she's not going to contact. She's not going to die yeah. from him. But so okay. So you I don't get why your buddy like totally shit canned her and said that Superman saved him when he didn't. Superman saved. <laughs> Doctor Sparkle really needs to like give credit where credit's due. And then before he goes to try and bang plastic face. This needs we were touching right, earlier on. Though. I'll have no more of this slander. <laughs> but what against against <laughs> Doctor Sparkle? Me, about me talking about me liking Mister Sparkle. You love Mister Sparkle. No, Sparkle. I don't. You love Doctor Sparkle. This needs ginger Mr. beard. Doctor Sparkle. Doctor Sparkle. Mister Sparkle. Mr. Sparkle. Um. <laughs> but. Okay. No, 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 let me get my point out, right? That whole point of her learning her powers, the start of that episode, Crack Graham was like, so where the fuck have you been? Like, why aren't you using your powers? Are you just not as, as good as him? She shoots a, f a fucking beam out of her eye a foot away from her. Yeah, I agree with I'm with him on that. She used her eye power in the episode. Like, I know we talked about... um. Unnecessary flying earlier. She she did it at the start of this one when she was having the. It pissed me off. It was just annoying watching oh, it. Was, it. Oh, I was having the interview with Cat Grant. She's hovering over here. She asked her a question, then she just flies over here. I know what that was. Uh, no, that was that was hiding her face as well. Exactly. That was Cat took was, Cat, 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 Cat around. Cat, it was fucking it was annoying. The, it, yeah, but Cat brain, took three steps towards her. If you it, watch it, it was the the flash thing. She kept walking at her with the phone and. You, you had a point about that, but I'll, I'll let you do that one. Um, <laughs> Barry did it with Iris in the first uh, uh, first season of Flash. Yeah, yeah and I, will, I will give you that. Uh, the phone, though, with the static picture of a thing that's not recording and the record button actually showing uh, it's not recording. 
was on like the zero three. It was like zero three. It had a bar. It had a bar within so when you press pause, you could see the fucking record circle in the center of it. But yeah, it was like amazing. Sorry. You're right. Yeah, you can tell when she turns around, she's like yeah. Oh shit, she can see my face and like, well, I can't yeah, really like, do it, anything now. That's what I took it as, was it, her repositioning to hide her yeah, face. Yeah, I took it as that as well. Because uh, there was a couple of times where it almost looked like she was like, I, I know love, you. I, I, yeah, I thought she was going to call her at, at the I, end in the office. I, I, thought she was, I, I, I actually think. think Kat knows. I actually think Kat knows. Well, in the same no, way I Perry knows. Know. Yeah, probably. But we'll get into that in later seasons. The... The the things the thing I did love, I really love Jimmy in this because Jimmy is still Jimmy. And when he talked about the Superman watch and all that, that was so Jimmy. But Jimmy. then he's still. I love the fact James is just so. Jimmy is the only character that I like in this series. So I far. like Win too. Win. My favorite moment of this this entire week in TV <laughs> was Win finding out that Clark Kent is Superman and the fucking <laughs> meltdown that actor's face has, where he's like, and then you can see the moment where he's like. Oh my god, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> I love that, that because I not that, see is, that Yeah, and that is what you're supposed to have happen when you find out who it is, because you're supposed to be like, no, he can't. But he got all the interviews, he's always Face and his bit melting. and the glasses and oh my god. Brilliant. <laughs> but poor Wynn stuck in the um, Oh he friend got friend zoned hard. Friend zoned yeah. hard from day one. I love the part where he's like Oh, so do you want to go to the the secret office and do some super sleuthing? <laughs> She's like, ah, nah. Yeah, but look. Not now. She's, look, she's, yeah. she's just following through with what we all know. Once you've had black. You know, Can we have a go to Ginger? No, we're the, we're the step above. We, we are the, abound- the albino <laughs> black people. Thank you very much. Now. <laughs> I'm like the poor Ginger that, like, cat's like. Re- <laughs> I'm sorry because he's here. He's distracted. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh. <laughs> See, that's what these shows good at. It has good, just little moments like that that are fun. But it, I, I don't know. I like. I liked as well. I liked Army Guy being like, because he's so fucking military and so everything's by the books. And then when the sister is like, "Does anybody else know you're doing this?" No, good, because I don't want anybody to know that I have a soft side. That's. I know military dudes that are like, literally, you put a puppy in their face and they'll be like, "Yeah, that's acceptable." No, no, they're just like, "That's acceptable." But when they're alone, it's all acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> I still, I, I, this show has not, not Give sold Give it time. Me. I, I reckon by the end of this year, Supergirl will, Supergirl will be your number two show. And you know, want to know something else? You know that, that line of, you're going to save Superman one day? That happens in the comics. That's what they're building to. Kara saves the Earth. Kara stops the crisis. Hmm. What? Plus, I want to, I actually want to give a shout out as well. That moment at the end where she's typing on the computer to Clark. Yeah was beautiful that that mm. was just some beautiful tv because that would that you're talking, you're talking you character building at the moment yeah he's character but you don't have, we haven't seen clark kent or superman yet he has been so pivotal in this show and such a character without ever being seen just by time and that whole like don't mention that's what family were for and then oh, i spoke to jimmy it'll never happen again i really and with a smiley face he's not mad he's literally like you can handle it i'm sorry you're right nobody did that for me you deserve the right to to prove you can do it. Mm. So yeah, I, I I I love that. I don't think we'll ever see. I do. I don't think we'll see his face, but we'll see. We'll see him from behind. We won't see his we face. Won't like hear him. Doing now. We'll never. Hear, yeah, like they're doing now. You will. You will see him. You will see her save him, but it will be in a way where he's because not. Because the focus is on Supergirl. Yeah, because they don't want yeah, to make it. It's about. the same way that that Batman will never turn up on Arrow. Yeah. Because mm. he it, the minute you put. Many people, Batman, Wonder Woman, or Super say uh, what? Batman, Wonder Woman, or Superman on a show? None of your other characters matter. They're immediately overshadowed. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I've got an issue. Is it a nip? Are you nip something? Or is it just an issue? Yeah, it actually, yeah, it kind of makes the breasticles a bit tender. <laughs> They'll sweat the puppies. Yep. Yeah. Sweat, it's sweat it's rash. Heat rash. rash. Um, you gotta wait. Okay. Just hold on. Well, this is what ah! I feel. Ah, my nipples, they hurt! They hurt when I twist them! They may continue with the cathartic release. It's with the, um, the iron? Net, or net. the lead, sorry? She it melts. Flexed her hand? Yeah, she melts it. Unless she it creates heat herself so it that it's malleable. It hadn't dried at that point. Oh, yeah, because she still moves it to plastic, yeah. 
Although like she, I would, she's no, still no, kind no, of holds it like this, but then she actually grabs. I would say that you know because what you even think is it's, the a, it's a glove. It's a glove, right? So she's got to put on like a glove, and it's probably an inch thick. She can bend lead. Quite, Le- she can, Le- she can lead, is, lead is quite malleable. No, no, but for, this is Supergirl. Like there is not, like, except for Kryptonite, there is nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She theoretically can bend adamantium. Yeah. So putting a, a lead line, a glove on, the reason you can't do it is because you don't have the strength to bend lead. She does. So that, to me, makes sense. The problem is the fact that she has that. This is the. Hang on, I'm just going to turn this off so nothing dies. There you go. Like I know that lead is fairly soft, but. Okay. This is this is the the core. She's holding it like, like that. There's yeah, radiation yeah. seeping out of that fucker. Yeah, and that was the other thing. It's Plus, like, only one of her hands is in see, lead. Like, yeah. I thought she was like, because she doesn't like hug him or anything. Does no, she, she stands. She Because I was, I was waiting for that. Like, so she's still about like, here. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right, mate. I've got this. Yeah. Inter- it's all right, sir. I've got your back <laughs> phone here. Yeah, exactly. I saved you. But yeah, saved Jimmy, Jimmy's, got, Jimmy's got rats. Jimmy's got needs some rat away, without question. But yeah, I guess that's like the Superman wins. <laughs> LOL. LOL. It's like, oh, yeah, oh look, Cena. I can like, have a, 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 lead, a lead glove. and. That's just, why like, you don't like this show. Welcome to fucking a decade of wrestling, because <laughs> Supergirl is John Cena wins LOL. You're going through what I went through for ten fucking years, mate. Welcome to the clunge biscuit that is fucking <laughs> Cena wins LOL. I'm a burn... Come here. Hey, Daniel Bryan. You know why Daniel Bryan's injured? Because fucking John Cena didn't come with a leader with his hands up properly and he gave him fucking radiation burns. That's why Daniel Bryan died. <laughs> it's all right, Superman. I've got the kryptonite contained. That's why bloody Cena's always see visiting cancer kids in the hospital. He's giving them fucking cancer with the goddamn reactors. You think as well, Jenna has oh, one leg glove. So this hand isn't even a leg. He's absorbing all the... <laughs> Because that's what I thought when they were like, you're going to have to pull it out. I thought, oh, they're just going to tell her to do the palm thing. Cool. That's cool. Continuity, but nah. See, that, you can fucking do that. Make the, here's an idea. Prop the palm Can we make this fucking reactor smaller so the chick with tiny hands can palm it? Yeah, no worries. We're the prop the palm <laughs> Of course we can. He's a fucking LED light bulb. We can do whatever you want, shit. should have just been like, the lead and just had her two lead hands. But yeah, um... I did like the fact that Maxwell Lord is clearly also Asperger's as fuck. <laughs> when he just fires that dude where he's like, yeah, but did you think if you did this, this, and this, you wouldn't have a problem? Oh, no, well, I didn't. No, you didn't. So you're fine. He's doing it. Literally, and the, like, St. Gerardo said to me, she's like, he's a dickhead. And I'm like, no, he's literally just, he's one of those over smart people where it's like, no, it was... you can't do it. He can. He has to do it. Wells did that in this episode, the yep. Flash as well. He's like, you know what? Find you know what you can do for me. Find someone else that can do your job better than you can. Yeah. No, it was the point where because she had actually untied him, so he could run away, and he thanked Superman. Because Superman technically saved Car and not no, not I think, Maxwell. I think Superman flew Maxwell out. Mm. But she technically oh, yeah. like untied him. Well, he made that point because he said you saved me twice in twenty four hours. And I did like his comment about how he got something happened to him and he was like, what was what was the, his situation where, so therefore going for like a dance isn't exactly a problem? After, he was in an avalanche in Everest and he did That's something right. after yep. that and yep. then he was like, so I think a hostage situation followed by drinks isn't really that much of a problem. <laughs> but it was the dynamic oh. with Kat and Maxwell as well, just like they both Oh, they are so down to like, fuck. There is, there is. Oh, that's the point. She was like the moisture between those two. She was like, Woo! something about the sign of power. Ray Palmer being and able to leave your own party early. Yeah, she, the moisture between those like, two is the Pacific let's Ocean. Go. That's the Pacific Ocean. Wow, that's pretty moist. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty salty too. Indeed, no. That's not felic- Is it felicity levels of like waterfall? No, no, no. no, no, no. This, that, that, that's the most chemistry I've seen any of the people have in this show. Even Kara and Jimmy don't have that level of chemistry, and I think that that Jimmy dude could have chemistry with you. Could put a broom next to him, and you'd be like, "Yeah, it's a good match." I feel the chemistry, me and Jimmy. Mate, I have like. chemistry. I want Jimmy. I was, every time he talks, I'm like, "This this dude is joining it's my like last supper." <laughs> oh damn, Kara! I'm gonna come in here and help you. 
Superman poked through that picture. Your voice is like sometimes, hot chocolate. Sometimes I press my watch too soon, Kara, because I get scared. I'm just so a little boy. So go, my chocolate salty balls. <laughs> so yeah, all right. Has anybody yeah, got anything else on. to say about this episode of Supergirl? Stick it in your mouth and suck them. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's get on to handing out some awards. Has anybody got any Barbaras for this one? Uh, Riders. Supergirl. Really? <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I hated the whole, we work as a team thing, and, and then just completely do a flip the very next episode and be like, nah, Fuck is. this is my house. Well, she did say she's struggling to find herself. She is suffering an identity crisis. But. I'm going to have to hand mine out yeah. to Reactron. And not the character, the actor. That guy was dull as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll like, lay down, I'll lay down part of that one. And I'm like, you just go to the community theatre and you're like, we need a guy who's tall. That guy's tall. With his, Fuck it. With his try-hard Iron Man suit. Yeah, with his, with his earbud stone, <laughs> whatever the guy's name is. Ichabod stone, what was that guy's name? I'm looking that shit up. What was Jeff Bridges' name in fucking Iron Man? Jeff Bridges Iron Man. Uh, apparently, the first thing that came up, Braden, you'll love, Jeff Bridges admits Iron Man movie had no script. <laughs> Suck it. Obadiah Stain. Obadiah Stain. Obadiah Stain. Now, while I'm on looking up people's names, I'm <laughs> going to go back a little, stain, a little correctional here from earlier. Theo Calibre <laughs> is played by James Frain, I believe is his Some name. sort of Mexican. <laughs> As you called it. <laughs> now, I'm super certain this guy's a Mex. Nah, he's not. James Frain. Alright, like, let's... Go to Wikipedia, they will tell you. I'm going to. I'm going to find this out. I know this is not the thing we say for the mailbag, but there's only one letter in the mailbag. It's, this week, it's so late. Fine. This has gone downhill. Uh, James Frain is from Leeds, United Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mexican. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, but what's his... I bet his parents are Mexican. This son, he's got some sort of Espanol. He, she Pablo Espanol. Why are you picking on his big ears? He's Mexican Chuggy. by association. Like through let's, osmosis, he became let's, Mexican. Uh, he, got, he got a t He's got Mexican tan. Let's. <laughs> Too many. Brayden, are you giving out a bar? Are you giving out your Barbara? Have you got a Barbara for this? Yeah, go on, Barbara. Um, Maxwell. Maxwell Lord. Yeah, Maxwell Dutch Lord. I just hate he's him. He's going to win you over. Maxwell Lord's one of the reasons we have a Justice League, but we'll get there when we <laughs> get there. Let's talk Cranston's. Jimmy. Superman Jimmy. slash Clark. Yeah, Clark. Clark was good. I can do that one. Brent, who's your Cranston going to? Yeah, I'm going to Clark as well. My, my Cranston's going to win for that meltdown. <laughs> that I mean, that was, like I said, that was just... That made me so happy that moment. I'm like that. And they're trying to like brush her off. I was like, no, no, it's not. It's like, like, Clark. Holy no, it's Jimmy, Jimmy's crack. face where he's like... Like, this look of like, are you fucking retarded? When he like that. Like, because he's like, Clark. And Jimmy's just like... And then it sinks in, but I just love that Jimmy's look of like. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not stuck. Smooth. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, that's how Crescent does. Let's let's glove this episode up. I'm giving it four gloves. I can't stand this show. I can only give it two. He'll change. I still see you coming around by the end of the year. I give it four. Yeah, I'm going to give it two and a half. Let's move on then to Gotham, Excellent. which would be season two, episode eight. Tonight's the night. Of all night. No more rehearsing. Tonight. Or whatever about. On with the show. This is it. The Muppet Show tonight. It's time to light the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to get things going on the, the Muppet Show tonight. We're going to look yep. up the lyrics to that. Right now. Anyway. I'm back with some more of that in a moment. <laughs> Episode 8, Tonight's the Night. Theo gives Barbara permission to kill Gordon, and he also offers Bruce a proposition. Bruce turns his position in... Sorry. Bruce turns in his position in Wayne Enterprises to Theo, and in return, Theo gives Bruce the information about his parents' killer and the culprits. 
Barbara walks inside the GCPD and Gordon suggests to risk himself to find more information about Gallivan. While en route to an unknown location on Barbara's instructions, the squad car is assaulted by Tabitha and her crew. Gordon wakes up in Gotham Cathedral where he and Barbara were going to have their wedding before their breakup. The strike force discovers Gordon's location thanks to the help of Bullock. While the strike force engages Tabitha's crew and rescue Leslie, who was kidnapped by Tabitha, Gordon briefly fights Barbara, leading to Barbara hanging outside the church and falling, leading to her severe injuries. The following information obtained by Barbara, GCPD, rescue Aubrey James from his abduction. Bruce declines Theo's proposition just as Gordon arrives and arrests Theo who destroys the evidence on the Wayne's killer. Smooth like vanilla, the way you did it. That was pretty good. Meanwhile, while trying to bury Kristen Kringle, Nygma discovers an injured and exhausted penguin who asks Nygma for help. All right, um, now, just uh, just to interject before we get into this, I, uh, I made a phone call there, I don't know if you saw that or not. I actually got onto a very old, very dear friend of ours here from the back cave. Pseudonym? No, not, not pseudonym. And I, I'll get there. It's almost. not part of the fucking Thunder Clan, uh, is it? No, no, no. They have, they've got emails later. Don't worry. Uh. And uh, <laughs> it, it, I asked this one. I asked somebody I always call in when I need things. When we need things recited. Or we need somebody to help us understand what words are. So I laid in the call to our dear friend, Sir Ian. And said oh. to him, Sir Ian, you, sir, are a fan of many things cultured. Do you know the lyrics to The Muppet Show? And he said, of course I do. I'm Ian McKellen. You, how dare you ask me such spinely questions? <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, so, are you are you ready? Yep. Let's hear right, it. Here we go. So, so this is obviously our press play on the tape because he, he left me a voicemail. This is it's, right. <clears throat> it's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. It's time to put on makeup. It's time. To dress up right. It's time to raise the curtain on the Muppet Show tonight. Why do we always come here? I guess we'll never know. It's like a kind of torture to have to watch the show. And now let's get things started. Why don't you get things started? It's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, Muppentational. This is what we call the Muppet Show. So I'd like to thank Sir Ian for taking the time to do that for us. Yeah, it was Very all nice right. Bit. Very nice. It was, all right. it, was, it was okay. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be back here. Oh, yeah. yeah. What the hell is the Muppet Show anyhow? What? No. There's the two uh, Muppets right at the end of the intro. Sadler and Waldorf. The two great old men. Yeah, it's, it's 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 twins of you. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's it's Waldorf Thunder and Saddler Thunder. Yeah, fuck. Two saltiest men alive. I don't. I think your sodium content is higher than my anybody in my clan. <laughs> thank you very much, <laughs> sir. I will take the blood test to prove it. <laughs> I got some things I like to talk about with this episode of Gotham. Firstly, being. That was a very, very uh, deserted woods have so much foot traffic coming through. Too much traffic. So much foot traffic. Like? That was... I... I... Okay. okay. So, long-time fans of the show will know I do a lot of criminology stuff and read a lot of shit like that. I've never laughed so hard watching him trying to bury a body as more motherfuckers keep turning up. <laughs> and he's just so like, oh well, just going to have to bury another one. <laughs> <laughs> I like how his brain, though, his, his 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 criminology brain went, fuck, I have to improvise. But I also love the fact he doesn't want to dig a bigger hole because it makes too much work, so he's just like, let's cut you down so you fit, fuck it. <laughs> I love how he interrupts cutting the fucker out because his sandwich is gone and has to hunt down his sandwich, uh, uh, steal yeah, before he... his sandwiches. Oh, he's just like, stay there, I'll be back, i got to find my sandwich. So good. <laughs> and the fact that he's now but like he and Penguin are now together like that's cool amazing that's yeah, cool. That's cool. All right. looking forward to I, I like guys. the point where he's like taking Miss Kringle's body like from the 
in the yeah, yeah, yeah. from the boot and he hits a bump he's like oh sorry Mr. Kringle yeah <laughs> <No>. hilarious <laughs> it's fucking oh, brilliant he's still One. respectful but it's yeah. like psychopathic yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is really what he's meant to be yeah you know? I, I also I, I I have to have props once again to my man uh, my skeezy scumboard ga- uh, scumbag friend Galavad mm-hmm. that Shifting that Miller envelope to the that fire was boom. fucking. That was pimp. That was like the biggest. That was Jason Fuck Bond you, to, yeah. To, uh, to Bruce, How that you, you're could, not going to send me your, co- your company. Fine, fuck you then. I just, I just ruined your fucking life. Yeah, exactly. I just ruined Fine, your hopes and now. dreams. Good luck on your any little fucking twerp. Yeah, it was that was so cool. That uh, was just uh, brilliant. Taking Jim to the church and wanting to like force the marriage and all that and then her getting dropped out of a fucking window my god I thought cool. she was gone I thought um, I'm like holy shit they did it they yeah, didn't but I still did. that was incredible yeah it's gonna happen at some point it has to and fucking Harvey in this episode when Jim gets kidnapped and Harvey, Harvey won't go home he's just like fucking. no fuck you I'm not going home this is my best friend save this motherfucker and then he starts he just cops it out by being, by being Harvey he's just like well I'm Harvey I'll solve this problem solved it Look at the grey in my beard. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say it early. He gets my fucking Cranston. Mm. I'm just, going, just, I'm going to need a leg up on the table, don't I? You, you get my Cranston. Respect like, the leg. Like, fucking, that, that scene where he's just like, I'm sorry, Captain, I, I didn't hear it because I'm still ringing in my ears. And then, like, just completely insubordinate. But I also love the fact Barnes is constantly like, go home, go home. And then when, when Harvey's like, I know the answer. And then Barnes is just like, you know what? I can see that. I don't trust you. Let's go. I like I like that about Barnes. That he's hard, like he's, he follows the yeah. book, but at the same time, it's very obvious that he doesn't like that he has to. Yeah. I get the feeling that there's more to Barnes than we're getting mm. told. A lot more. Yeah. But that was a bit of a... He had a bit of a fucking... I don't know, maybe a Barbara moment of, okay. like, turning around then. He was like, no, fuck you, go home. I know the answer. You sure? It seems a bit floozy. Yeah, no, that's the answer. All right, let's go. Yeah. It was just like... Also, how are there still cops in Gotham? Because literally, like... Everyone died. Episode, yeah. They all just start, like... The new task force. Three of them died. Yeah, they said... Said... He said it at the start of the episode. They recruited some more. They just replaced them like that. How many? Is everybody in Gotham just becoming a cop now? I'm starting to think there's constriction yeah. in Gotham City. There's, there's about forty thousand yeah. people at the academy that they just recruit. It's like an animal shelter or something like that. Uh, I just think it, it, all the fucking orphans. Get it's a bit shit. Police. Like he said, he set this task. Not the cop. He keeps trying to set this task force up with rookies. Like, wouldn't you want to have some, like, veterans that know how to fucking fire a gun and, like... No, if you've got veterans, he's telling them to piss off home. True. I have an issue with when the truck hit the car with Harvey and Jim in it and Barbara. Oh, yeah, because it should have done a lot more damage. Jim's side and that would have killed It fucking just him. destroyed the car. But he just had, like, a little cut. Yeah, Hollywood cut. Meanwhile, and Harvey's, just... like, fucking unconscious. Because you could... That was, like... And Barbara's fine. The... Yeah. The TV standards, that was a pretty powerful yeah, that crash. Was a, that, that was a, Sorry, that was a that, hit on par with Mitch Leary. Yeah. That, that is all three Never people, forget. that is all three people in hospital, in yeah. ICU. Yeah, especially Barbara, because yeah. she's not actually seat belted in the back of yeah. that car. She would have been pulled. She just would have hit that door. She's got a concussion without question. Okay, that truck would have hit. She would have stopped moving. Like, basically the car would have kept going, and the truck, and then she would have hit the same wall that the truck hit. Yeah, she, I guess she would have buffered off one to yeah. the other. But she's still just skipping around. Or just, you know. Wedding dress looked good, though. Oh, I hated that wedding dress. Really? Oh, it's horrible. Okay, I think my husband in there. Like, the, like, where... The veil? Not the oh. veil, but more just the oh, bodice. The oh, the, yeah. Where it kind of went over her hips a bit. Yep. It just was really unflattering. Wow. Well. Okay, I got another. I can't argue that. I like, it's just. I like I after know. when she's fallen out the window and they're like, well, thank God those trees broke and fall. <laughs> Reminded me of something that would happen on 66. Yeah, that's then. what I thought too. <laughs> that point thank God that jumping castle was there. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, I, I, was, I was a little bit. I don't. That was the perfect time to get rid of her and have it mean to me. Mm. Because yeah. I would have destroyed Jim. Yeah. But 
Yeah, it would have been good. Uh, Jim and Leslie uh, are done. Done. One and done. They're, yep. they're done more than Felicity and Oliver. That's pretty done. There is no moisture. There is, there is no way you can chew that fact, fucker off I, anymore. I, 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 charcoal. I think that that to me sums up. We'll get there. We'll get there in a few in next. But that to me sums up the whole relationship between Oliver and Felicity. There is no moisture there. <laughs> it's all dried up. There is no moisture. No, oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, between her and yeah, 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 yeah. Between cool. her and Ray. Like, it's mate, fucking it's Josh and Alan. There there's is, there there's is Niagara Falls coming out of her vagina about that dude. People need raincoats in that shit. Raincoats, if you will, while they're in that well, shit. What's that new uh, Mr. Wizard? What's his name? Um, Mr. Wizard is it terrific. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the, the guy. clunge biscuit. That's the clunge biscuit. I'll stop myself. <laughs> anyway, he, I, I'm surprised he didn't like come in there and just like slipped up when he went oh, to yeah, come and talk. He, he, he should have been like. Slip and slide they down the a, hallway. They need a wet floor sign for sure. Well, we'll get there later on. She's like, what? Yeah, can I, get, can I get a mop? In back, the... In the, back into Gotham. <laughs> uh, so much shit happened in this episode, but it, it's kind of hard. They're, like, they're finding a really good way to pace their episodes where heaps of shit's happening, but it's really only four or five scenes per character. Yeah. And Bruce, <laughs> Br- like, I love that scene with Bruce and Alfred where Alfred's basically been like, that's extortion, Master Bruce. Mm. Like we'll, yeah. we'll get you, we'll help you solve this problem. It might take twenty years, but we'll do it, and we'll make you a Batman for it. Don't sell your company. Don't sell away your love. I love the part where he's like Martha and Thomas Wayne's legacy standing, standing right, right in front, in front of, of me. me. That was, yeah, that was good, amazing. He's he is the perfect Alfred. Best Alfred I've ever seen. Yeah. And I really love that that look of like, fuck you. When Bruce was like, I'm not signing the company over now. Alfred has this look of like absolute pride of like that. And, and he's like. That's me, boy. Good on you, son. Get in there, son. We'll keep the shit out of him together, yeah? But yeah, that that scene where the cops come, like Jim and, oh, and Bullock and come through, and, 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 and Galvan just literally stands up and just, and just one gone. Oh, this episode was so sort of wonder, like, his plans, his plans gonna His plans are going to move forward. You just yeah. sort of wonder how now. But are we getting a Joker thing where he wanted to get caught? I don't think so. Because he's been very sloppy. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so either because because his his sister he wanted slash... the company. He wanted the company and he wanted to do things with the company. He, no, he wants to destroy the Waynes. He wants to destroy the Waynes. He wants to. Yeah, destroy but he, 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 he would. He would. If he, if he part of once Wayne. that contract yeah. was signed, he would have put a bullet through Alfred, then through Bruce. Yeah. Because Bruce yeah. would literally have nothing. Exactly, but You're like he he would be a powerhouse if he got Bruce's company. Oh yeah. There would be he'd nothing. He'd be the most powerful man in Gotham. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think he knows about um, the human testing and things. Like oh, of that course he does. does. Oh, yeah. Of course he does. But he can't. He still can't do anything with the company unless he's part of the company. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very interesting things to come from this. And um, but yeah, he, Butch he, has disappeared now. Butch yep. has gone into the wind. Yep. Like this. Like this. Where what? That was episode eight. So. A third of the way, mm-hmm. a third of the way through, and they've already they've really shaken things up. But they're gonna have to do a time jump soon, because otherwise, like the Riddler's basically the Riddler. What are you gonna do? You could just have like him, him tormenting Jim. I reckon yeah, you will. See, I think yeah, I think he's still got a little way to go. I I, I think I think there will be a little bit of thing with him because they haven't drawn attention to the fact that the GCPD knows that. Chris Kringle was missing, yep. or that Nigma is missing. Yeah. The only thing that they've done is um, uh, where he nearly got busted in the morgue with Leslie. Yeah. And um, Nigma was like, "We need to have coffee, coffee, and talk about because we're having some problems." Yeah. That's the only thing so far. That has actually said, you know, something's going wrong but, there. But no but one has drawn do you, attention. Do you think, now hypothetically, we're 15, 20 years away from a mask being put on the kid? Right? In terms of actual canon storyline. Do, does he have 15 no. years before he becomes the Riddle? He's, How do you do that? The way I see it, I reckon he, he his age 
I don't know. Have we been told he's roughly his age yet? I reckon he's 20. Uh, he, he, I reckon he's he, about he, 24, he 25. Yeah, I can see that. He's about the same age. I, Barry Allen is the age I take him. Yeah. From. He's Barry yeah. Allen's age. So 15 years from now, yeah. he's 40. Yeah, which is what about the right age for the Riddler. But what I'm saying is, what it, like 15 years is a long time to disintegrate and, and do all that. Like have that so have a criminal career, mm-hmm. right? He's already nearly the Riddler. Yeah. What is it that for 15 years stops him being the Riddler? I think it's going to be something. Yeah, to do with, I, I we'll think it's going to be something to do with Penguin. Him. I think we'll see a piece about him uh, getting kicked out of the force, or he'll do some there'll stuff be... behind the scenes there, and then there'll be a whole thing about him maybe getting caught and he'll piss off for a while. But do you think they'll do a time jump where we get to see these guys as their actual characters properly, or are we? I don't think we'll get a time jump. I look at the series. Where does, when does the, how does the series end at this point? At this point, where we're looking uh, at now, how does this series end? Joker and Riddler this... together and out of the scene, and they're hunting him. Who's hunting him? I think the season Batman ends with a report of a vigilante. No, I don't think so. So you don't, you don't, you think we see anything from like Bruce Wayne doesn't get even close to becoming Batman in this series? I don't think before? so. I don't. I, th- I think he comes season. close, no, and no, then no, yeah, there's a report of a vigilante, but you oh, don't see him as Batman. Yeah, It'll how, be sort of the, the start of Batman Year One. Yeah. So, you, so in your theory, it ends with Bruce coming back from being training and coming back to Gotham, being like, "I'm ready." Yeah. Yeah. So because yeah. the way I see it ending. Is a future like I actually think they are going to time jump slowly but surely a couple of years every now and then. I actually see it ending with Jim Gordon at the signal, and something of like, oh, you know, it's taking me a while to get there. Or, or it's going to how it will end with the it will end with a adult Bruce Wayne, probably as Batman, and Jim Gordon. And Jim Gordon will say something along the lines of, "I we finally found out who did it," and it'll be this amazing moment where they'll break the canon a little bit where Jim will be able to say, "I know it's you." I've yeah. always known it was you. Yeah. Because their relation, it seems there is the relationship between Jim and, and Bruce is what they they're slowly weaving. Well, Jim, Alfred, and yeah, Bruce. Because like the other problem I've got is that like you can't have as we've said in the past, you can't have Two Face until Batman's there. Mm-hmm. You can't have the Joker until Batman's there. You can have the Penguin. You can't really have the Riddler because the whole point was the Riddler's whole stick was that he's doing it to prove he's smarter than Batman. So whilst he's still crimin- criminally bent, he's not going to be dropping hits th- and Riddler tricks. Well, th- unless he, uh, you forget Enigma. the Riddler. I don't think we'll see Enigma. Uh huh. I still think we'll have Edward Nig- or Ed Enigma. Yeah. And you won't have Enigma until the Batman comes in. So do, but do you? I think reckon we'll see he's. Batman? I reckon. I reckon we'll still see him playing games with GCPD. Okay. How many years does this show last? How many seasons? I does the show only go 10 until he's literally old enough to put on the suit? I could potentially see five at the moment. Okay. In all honesty, I could see five. I don't know that I can see 10. See, 7 is the, the magic number for TV. Right. 7 is the magic number. For, what do you reckon, Braden? How many years do you reckon can you see? The way, the way it's structured... Yeah, I'm have saying need probably about that. 4 or 5 as well. Maybe see, 6. that seems really low to me for American TV. Mm. Bit, like, that's British TV low. Mm. Not American TV. So that's why there has to be something. Because like, the, re- the reason you guys see 5 years... Is that because there's there's no way to keep this show past five years without having a Batman? Yeah. Yeah. That's my problem. That's why I feel like at some point there is a time jump coming. Okay. Yeah, you've got to have it to keep it fresh and interesting. Yeah. Like, um, even if it's five year intervals, like, because then Bruce will be a teenager and yeah. Yeah. staying felt relationships and all of that. And You're not going to get Commissioner uh, Gordon the I think that's where the it ends. End. I reckon it ends with him. As commissioner, slapping on the mud, like he'll have a mustache by the end, and he'll get commissioner. Yeah. Well, that see, that's the time jump I could see would be the time jump comes in, and that that's when he's got his mustache. We've we've gone five years now. We have mustache holder Jim. Whatever else. Yeah. Anyway, we yeah. digress. Let's. Uh, have we done Cranston's? Mm-hmm. No, we've just done Barbara's, haven't we? Matt has. Yeah, yeah I, Matt has. I did. Okay, who you got for your Cranston, bro? Probably gonna have to late jump on the mats to be honest. 
So you got Tommy. I said bullet. A bullet, sorry. He was, he was good. Okay. Did you go to Crazy? Um. What's the one where you like split the Cranston? Arapol. Yeah. Arapol. Give those to Bruce and Alfred. Because, yep. especially at the end, where Alfred's kind of comforting and being like, it's okay. Yeah. I almost teared up a bit because yeah, that was really Bruce funny. is like really struggling. Like, what does he do? Yeah. With such responsibility at a young age. But Alfred's really struggling as well because he's suddenly Cause his he, parent. Because he's, he's like him. just the butler, but he's also the dad. And now he's his parent, yeah. And he can't be like, we have to do this. He can't enforce it. Yeah, he's just still his servant. I just love how proud Alfred is, is of, of Bruce. Yeah. It's just like. Yeah. Unbelievable. My Cranston for this one was the Theo Gallagher. <laughs> and I saw that coming. Like, He's just a vicious fucker. Yeah, it's the old wrestling mentality of like, if you're if you're a bad guy and you can make me hate you, you're doing your job well. And, and that I guy nails it because I sit there and I'm like, oh, you slimy every fucking Every single freak. move that that guy does. Yeah, everything, even his voice is just so, it's just made to get under your skin. Yeah. 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 I love him. Alright, what how many gloves are we giving this? Four and a half. Four and a half gloves. I fucking loved Gotham this week. Wow. Actually the last two episodes I I just really loved Gotham, especially this one. You know what? I agree with you, four and a half gloves. Good answer. Yeah, I'm giving it a four. I'm not wrong. You giving it a four? Four gloves. Yep. Yeah. yeah, four. I think that brings <laughs> us to the end of another episode from the Batcave. How are you all feeling about that? Feel like better all off your chest. Uh, yeah. It has a breaking kayfabe. It's taken us about fucking five and a half hours <laughs> to film this thing. This, this has been but literally. Even, even, even more to break kayfabe. I think I fixed it. Yeah, even more break kayfabe. All he had to do was unblock his firewall and we never had a problem again. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, on behalf of myself, Red Thunder Adam Gerard, and the lovely people who have joined me this week, the Dad Knight Braden the Hearn. See you guys. And his sidekick, Nigma, who is who's left because the fireworks have clearly stopped. He's, he's sleeping. Nice. And then we've got the probe, Matt Richards. See ya. We've, of course, been joined, filling in for the Honey Badger Terry O'Neill, rip in peace. We've had the president, Adriana Orman. Hmm? See you in 40 episodes. And yeah, hopefully, <laughs> no. uh, if we can get our no. Lazarus pit up and working, we'll see if we can bring Honey Badger back from the dead. No, if not, join us next week for Kevin Owens. Job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yes, I'm Batman. Telegram. I am Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. You sound like Cookie Monster. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. This has been a Cabana production.